Oh, people can't hear me. Hi, everybody. If, if you missed that last minute, don't watch Paul's stream. It was just hellos and stuff. So yes, the anniversary of the channel is coming up. Five years of old slicker things. Five years, it's too long, isn't it? So that's coming up. And as part of celebrations, me and Paul were going to do a big playthrough. And then Paul got time today. Yeah, if, so if someone's streaming Mage Knight, you should try and get involved. Yes. There we go. Someone's pirating my stream. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're, we're experts. So we're doing a blitz conquest. I don't think anyone's got time for a full conquest. With both of us here anyway. It'd have to, it'd have to be a multiple parter. So we're doing a blitz conquest that speeds things up a little bit. We start off with an XP and that kind of... It means that each level gets one XP already, kind of. Whenever you go to a new level, it's got one extra XP there. Just to kind of speed you up a bit, we start with some reputation. Uh, there's an extra die. There's an extra unit in the offer. I think that's about it, isn't it? Oh, people... Yes. 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 People are saying that they can't hear you on my stream, Paul. I can hear you, and things are bouncing. Things on stream lamps. Let's to fix it. So in stream labs in the bottom I think, right. Uh, I think you're on now, Paul. Oh, I'm on now, am I? Right. Yes. Okay. Different things are bouncing. Can everyone hear Paul now? Hello. Testing. Testing. One two. One two. <laughs> You'll find out in eight seconds. <laughs> Yeah, for the for the first few minutes, Paul's stream is the only one that's got everybody talking on it. Right. <laughs> but I think we're all, I think we're all okay now. Yes. Different things are bouncing, and hopefully okay. they're okay. Good. Everybody Very low sound. Well, I was working, but... I I can boost him. Right. There we go. So I Does think it? we're all good. we're all there. We're all good. Right. You're cool. 
Well, I, let me let me know when Paul gets too loud, and I'll stop turning him up. Okay. Tom's sound is a bit low. A bit low. I can turn Tom up, but there you go. I have turned Tom's volume up a bit. <laughs> yeah, Streamlabs is just trying to mute yeah. us both. There is a question in the chat. Are we using the standard difficulty for cities? I think we are for this scenario. Both yes, of the I cities think... will be level three. Yeah. Uh, once we're more experienced with the game, if we play a game, we can we can up that difficulty. But we're going to be playing on standard difficulty of the cities. Right. Shall I determine a start player? Yes. These are just here randomly. Okay. Start player is... Paul determining. You. Oh, nice. Now, what that means is you get the choice of tactic oh here we go doesn't mean you're gonna go decision first. yeah yeah straight out of the gate here we've got a monastery Pe people people in my chat always seem to want to see monasteries burned yeah oh before we <laughs> choose tactics we get to draw our opening hand oh yes so... I've, uh, I've sneakily got mine okay so yeah we've got tiles number six and seven uh we have uh two orcs now let's get the right names because i have forgotten the names of these we have um What's that one? Oh, that's Lost Legion. Here we go. Prowlers. Yeah, so Orc Prowlers here. And we have the uh, the Ironclads here. We have a Monastery, uh, which means we start with an advanced action in the unit offer. We have a Dungeon. I think that's a Dungeon. Uh, we have a Red Crystal Mine, and we have a Monster Den. Yes. And we have a Magic Glade. Lots it is a dungeon. already to be yes. dealing with. So I'm going to draw my opening five cards. I should get these tactics. So if, uh, if you didn't see my stream, everyone, I relearned the game about two weeks ago. Yeah. After a great big gap. But Paul played the game before, I think. I, I played the game a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I don't I don't go around telling everybody that I, you know, I don't have it tattooed on my forehead that I co-designed the last two Mage Knight expansions. But the number of times... I'm talking with somebody at a convention and I get talking and we say, oh, what's your favorite game? And they say, oh, Mage Knight. And I'm like, it, it, something clicks in my head and I go, at what point do I mention that I co-designed the last two expansions without <laughs> it sounding? So I, I, I eventually, and I, uh, and I sort of say, what do you think of the, uh, what do you think of the Shades of Tesla expansion? And if they say, oh, it was brilliant. It's the best thing that's happened about the game. I mention it. If they say, oh, no, it was awful. I, I just walk away quietly. <laughs> yeah, oh, Vlada and his expansions, right? Yeah. Right, I've got my five starting cards, and you are choosing tactics first. Right, so here are my five starting cards, everybody. Hi, everyone, by the way. I'm not going to look at the stream, because I shouldn't technically see your cards. No, this is all a, this is all a great big secret. Yeah. So I've got my starting tactics. So am I desperate to go first? Does someone want to race for? Well, that orc is really to... near, isn't it? That orc prowler is very, very near. And all you need is two XP to level up with yeah. the with the boost. So could I, with what I've got, go and fight him? I haven't got any range or anything <laughs> like that, but I've got I've got uh, improvisation. Russ got in the chat is things. asking uh, what you think of the last two expansions, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> they are sealed, so I can completely dodge the question. He can. He's not open. I yet. I've only ever played with base Mage Knight stuff, but I did when I decided it's time to get back into Mage Knight. I did end up getting all of it. Yeah. Se separately, so I've got Krang is just chilling in the box because he didn't come with a box. Yep. And then Shades of Tesla was uh, unsealed the last time I set up Mage Knight. I think. Right. So but I'm playing. All with, remains unplayed. You're, you're playing with a fancy. I'm, I'm playing with Wolf expansion Hawk, character. Right? Wolfhawk is from Lost Legion, but we are not using any other components from Lost Legion tonight. No. Uh, there's it's no. All, yeah. It's just base game, game content. That. Yeah. I I opened my sealed Lost Legion to grab her out and realised oh there's there's extra things for the base characters in mm -hmm. this expansion. Uh, so let's see. I can get some crystals. I can do a bit of attacking. Maybe I would want some more cards to try and go and fight this thing, because it would be nice to just level up straight away. Yeah. It's not going to take much movement to get over there at all. You start on this, uh, start on one space away from it. Yeah, two so, movement will get you there. So you only need three to, to fight it. And I could get some decent um, block, actually. There's blue mana in the source. I, I don't think I need oh, mana. any more cards. Have you rolled the mana? Oh. I have, but I think we should do it live. Okay. Let's uh, let's have a look at the source. 
There we go. So we've, we've got, got a bit of everything. Okay. Including oh, yeah, well, yeah that, that's like almost perfect. One of everything. All important, no including the all important gold as well. Yeah. Okay. Do what you like. So I can. I don't want to discard cards. I could take a mana die and have a special mana die just for me. Mm -hmm. That would be something Thief. nice. So I don't think I need more. I don't think I need more cards right now. And I can announce I would have two turns in a row. I think I'm. I'm going to go for mana steel. I think. Okay. So you're and taking gonna, mana steel. And which mana can, are you stealing? I have to have a basic color. Well, I think I'm, I'm going to take the old green, yeah. since he's goldix. It just feels right. Okay. At which point, because you've done that, I'm going to take rethink, which means I will be taking the first turn of the game. Okie doke. Oh yeah, okay. they they don't uh, they don't disappear from a multiplayer they, game, do they? Nope. No, nope, they do not. Okay, so when you take this tactic, I can discard up to three cards from your hand, draw that many cards, and then shuffle my pile back in. So I know exactly what I want. Uh, so I don't want that one. So that's getting discarded. Um, I don't want that one. So that's getting discarded. And I don't want that one. So they're the three cards that I'm discarding. I'm going to draw three replacements. One, two. These are not the cards I wanted. And then I shuffle those in. OK, and we're ready. So it's my go. Oh, God, this game's good. <laughs> this game is so good. Right, what am I going to do? Uh, let's have a think. Um, because now that I'm going first, I'm thinking I could go and grab this and try and kill this orc and get the two fame and level up. And that's a really nice quick start so i need to move two which i can do by playing uh march so march will move me. i'm just planning my turn first move two will move me to there now i could stop moving there and and challenge the orc or i could voluntarily move to there if i voluntarily move to there then that will provoke the orc and it will attack me so yeah, basically I'm not sure which one I want to do. Well, I don't have any more movement, so I'm just going to stay there. So that would be my movement. Um, now I could actually block this, ah, but I'd need block four. I've got that. You've stolen the green mana, but there is gold. So yeah, I could concentrate. With the gold mana. Oh no, because then that does the better. Yeah, I think I might just take the damage. Because if I played my two, if I play these two to block the damage from it, then I don't actually have enough to kill it. And I'm going to need them to kill it. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, move two to move to there. That's that done. Uh, I'm then going to challenge it as my action. It then attacks me, so it's got four attack. Um, I am, yeah, I'm not going to block that. I mean, I could, oh, I could block it. Oh, there's an interesting question. I could block it, but I'd have to use that card plus those two sideways. And I'm not sure. everyone they're playing with the friendly mana variant so i'm going to use the i'm going to use the gold mana as if it was red and play attack four and that kills it and gets me two fame so that goes that's dead and i get two fame and as tom says because we started on one xp what that means is i now have effectively four xp i get a reputation for defeating the rampaging enemy and i will level up and I can do that while you're taking your turn. Right. So I think my turn is done. I'm going to roll the dice and put it back. And I'll tell you what I've rolled. I've rolled red. Gold okay. And it's now red. And I will right. do my level up while you're taking your turn. Okay. So 
I, I, I have only played Mage Knight solo and cooperatively as well. Blitz is competitive, but it it's is. not like there's optional stuff in the rules where you can fight each other and stuff. We're not I believe, playing. Or, or be more interactive. We're not using that. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see, there's an orc further away, but it'll take a lot of movement to get to. I am <laughs> yeah. here on this portal. I could try. It's kind of further down the peck in order to, to jump down that um, dungeon early on and fight him. Going by the, the walkthrough structure of things. But what would that take? That would take... It's two movement to move on grass, so two, four, six move just to get there. That might be the problem. But once I've gotten there, what else am I going to do? I can use improvisation to influence a lot. I've got improvisation pretty much lets you do anything. Mm -hmm. Move, influence, attack, block. So I could maybe go to the monastery. But that's a bit of a trek as well. In monastery, quickest way to the monastery is through the forest and then onto there. So that'll be five movement will get you to the monastery. Next, yeah, I've got will focus that can let me play the bottom of a card plus three, so I could get like a, a crazy amount of influence. But in terms of my other cards, oh, I could do tranquility to draw another card, maybe. But if I wanted to use the the only green mana is the one that I've got, so. If I want to use that on Will Focus, I'm not going to be able to use it on Tranquility, so I'd have to hope that I've got some better way of moving. And it is kind of burning through my cards, but I think I need some way of moving. I can get Crystals from Crystallize. I think maybe I have to do uh, Tranquility and draw a card. See, so I've got some more influence. So I could if I wanted to... What can I get from the Monastery? We've got here. Oh, so most most of the people, everyone but the Utum crossbowman. Look at the units here. Can be. Oh, the guardian golems can't be. It's the red cape monks and the herbalists I could get from there. Get some good fire attack. Get some healing. But I still got to get over there. So I'll probably have to use improvisation to walk. Just to let you know, I took steady tempo for my level up. Uh, if you look. So that card is on top of my deck, and let me know what the new card is. The new one is learning. Okay. And the bottom of its sleeves come open. <gasps> Not a good advert for ultra pro sleeves. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're going to have to improvise to start moving. It's way too many to get over to that little do for now. I don't think I would have enough attack to use improvisation to get in there and then fight. So I could use the red mana from the source to... I can discard another card to get move five. Which would get, which is exactly what I need to get into the monastery. Then what would I have in the way of influence? Though? I'd have to. Oh yeah, I can play my. I can then play my green mana that I saved. So if you can't see this little crammed in text at the bottom of Will Focus. Use the bottom of a card, as if you'd played the extra mana to it. Get that amount plus three. So I could get myself seven influence, and that's the red cape monks, right? It's the red cape monks, or it's remember you can learn the advanced action at the monastery for six influence. Oh yeah, I could get myself some crystal mastery. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, if you yeah. do want to uh, use your influence, you've got plus one because we're playing Blitz Conquest. So you actually start the game with plus one. Oh yeah, because we've got the on the reputation, the reputation there. Yep. Ooh. So. Yeah, I think that's. I think I'll play the improvisation with the. With me, I'll reckons improvisation and tranquility. And red mana. Walk to the monastery. Oh yeah, that would just be five. And then, just get a crystal and wait for next turn. Yeah, that probably would have been a better. I'm learning. I'm all. I'm learning from all of these things. 
Like I probably should have gone first. Probably should have. Uh... It's really tricky in a two-player game because if yeah. you'd have picked two, I could have just picked one. Whereas yeah, just if, you'd have, no... if you'd have picked one, I could have picked like six. Yeah. I, it's just yeah, it's really really tricky. Uh, I have taken my skills in the level up. For those people in my chat telling me about my skills, I have done my skills. I'll tell you about them when it's when it's back to me. So yeah, I've used improvisation to get over there and the die from the source, the red die. I've used my private green mana. I've used will focus and boost this promise. So I've got influence seven right now. And I could play any oh. of these sideways to get more. So I've got eight influence with the plus one from the reputation. We look at the source of what's here, so I could get Crystal Mastery for six. So well, I've got I've got eight right now. I could play a couple of cards sideways. I could play one card sideways, and I could have the Herbalists and the Crystal Mastery. So let's gain a Crystal to your inventory is the same color as one you already own, or at the end of your turn, any crystals you've spent come back. And I'm good at getting crystals. Mm -hmm. You are, yeah. Goldix is good at that. The one, isn't he? But these red cape monks. Oh, attacking three, fire blocking, blocking four damage. Yeah, I, th I think though the crystals are calling to me. Okay. So we've got seven influence, eight influence. So this is six for an advanced action, and that goes on the top of my deck, right? Yep. That's. And that does not get refreshed. So I've got two spare. I will play. I think determination, crystallize seems like something I should keep and use, especially since I've just taken that crystal card. I'll play that sideways, so I've got three spare influence. It seems like while I'm here... Can, oh, can I do a load of influence things, yeah. or is that my action? No. Well, your action is called interacting, and when you interact, you can do... I can do several things you can do once. several. You can spend all of your influence and buy several things. I think... Yeah. The herbalists. You're recruiting the herbalist as well. Help me heal a little bit later. Mm -hmm. So I'll pop them on my player area. Yeah, I don't need this mana steel over here now. And so two dice are coming back to the source. We got. We've got a green and a black, unfortunately. So what did you use? You used your green that you'd stolen, and you used a and red. A red from the source, yeah. And then one of them rolls a black. Okay. But no levelling up for you. No, I'm just chilling out in a monastery for now. <laughs> so yeah, so just yeah. some monks. Emil, it's like I'm it's like I'm doing I'm not intentionally doing the opposite of everything that you say. So the You're chat just is coming in a little bit late. That you needed to discard a card for improvisation. Oh, so that's gonna have to be crystallized. Then. I wasn't keeping an eye on you. Boom. Yeah. Okay. I've got that's the that's the great thing about improvisation no cards, is that you can do anything with it. The downside is you have to discard a card in order yeah. to use it. Okay, so are you all done? I am. Right. So back to me. What I did, uh, I took the steady tempo advanced action, which I put on top of my deck. I then drew two skills, uh, and I drew refreshing breeze, which allows me to heal, and I also drew my um, interactive skill. I think, yes. I drew my I drew my nasty skill, which might which could hurt you, wolf howl. So that has gone in the offer. That has gone up here in the offer. Um, uh, yeah, so that's useful because I took two wounds. And then what I did is, and this is another thing that's important about Mage Knight is, at the end of your turn, you may choose to discard any number of non-wound cards from your hand. And because I'd taken two wounds, my hand was full. So I chose to discard Promise because I can't see me using this card anytime soon so i discarded that and that meant that i drew steady tempo because that was on top of my deck so there we go uh, at the start of my turn i th i was going to use this to heal oh in fact it's a crystal yes so i will use this skill i gain a white crystal uh, and i heal one so that removes the wound card from the game that's gone um what are we then going to do that is a good question now moving into the hills is three so it's going to cost me six to get here. Um, but I do have Steady Tempo. So I am going to play Steady Tempo. Um, and I am going to power it with blue mana from the source. So I move four. And at the end of the turn, instead of putting this card in my discard pile, I may place it on top of my deed deck. It's just awesome, is Steady Tempo. So that's four movement points. 
Um, well, unfortunately, that's four movement points, <laughs> which is not very much. And I really don't want to play concentration and rage sideways. I say I don't want to. If I don't, then am I literally just moving one space and doing nothing? Hmm. This seems a bit of a waste. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I'll do. Instead of steady tempoing, I'm going to concentrate. So instead of playing steady tempo for four move, I'm going to play concentrate powered by the green mana. When you play this, play another action card with it, get the stronger effect of that card for free. And if it gives you move influence block or any other type of attack or any, uh, get plus two. So that's actually move six. So there you go. Concentrate on the steady tempo, move six. Uh, I am going to move through the hills onto the crystal mine. And that is it. I'm not going to do anything else. So the steady tempo goes back on top of my deck if I want it to, which I do. I roll the dice that I used and put it back. It's blue. So the, the source is now two blue, a red, and a white. Concentrate gets discard, Concentration gets discarded. And I gain a red crystal because I've ended my turn on there. Okay. Uh, yes, can you play Concentration with the green and Empower Steady Tempo? Thank you, Oscar. I did. The chat is telling me what to do, but I worked it out. I, I, am, I am done. And I'm now going to draw three cards into my hand. So you'll go. I'll switch the camera over to you. Right. What shall we do? I haven't got much in the way of movement again. In fact, I've only got swiftness. It would move me too, not really next to anything else. No, we're not playing with PvP. We are not playing with PvP, no. <laughs> I never have, and I probably never will. No, I've, I've never played with the uh, interactive skills or anything in the game. Right. Or those spells. Because <clears throat> it tells you in, uh, in cooperative mode... Don't use those, yes. of course, because why would you in cooperative mode? They're all they're all just in a bag. They're not even sleeved. <gasps> so and we're I not playing with those. Uh, no, I haven't oh, got them. Okay, right. They're they're somewhere else. Okay, that's fine. I don't think they fit in my but in my. I'm, I was kind of thinking with my off topic, my insert is looking pretty tight with the with just the base game cards, and it's supposed to fit everything in. But hey, that's for the future. What should we do now? I can't move very much. I'm leaning towards uh, you folks that want to burn down the monastery. It seems a bit, it seems a bit, um, well, it seems a bit naughty, of course, but it seems a bit forward trying to attack a violet thing, right? That's my very first thing. You've got to play the cards. You, you've got to play the hand you've, de you've been dealt. I think. But yeah, the, uh, I, I can't really go anywhere. <laughs> I, I can attack. The goes. I can't even attack that much, really. Okay. I can do, I can use mana draw to oh oh um what uh, d what did you roll Paul? Uh, the source is now blue blue red white. Blue blue red white. Okay, doke. So I could I could play mana draw to use an extra die, and I could use the ranged attack of swiftness and the attack of rage maybe. Um. To try and have some attack for whatever is waiting for me, the violet enemy in the it monastery. Could be, it could it could be really good getting an artifact in there. It, the the thing that's pushing me towards it is I don't know what I would do otherwise. Right. Other than just you know, manager or just gets me some tokens. What are they going to do? They're going to just disappear. Unless I've got something to spend them on. I've got mm -hmm. threaten, which would be great if I hadn't if I had something to spend influence on now. But, so your herbalist uh, won't help you if you decide to burn down the monastery, since that's where they've been living for the last yeah, 20 years. They, they can help me afterwards. <laughs> they can help you afterwards. They'll yeah, heal with, your with, wounds after with, you've burned. With a bribe of green mana, they can forget <laughs> about that monastery and help me right out. I think we're just going to have to go for it. Okay. Let's. Uh, so I've got my uh, I've got my cue cards. So I'm going to burn a monastery. That's going to give me reputation minus three. Mm-hmm. And we apply that now, even if you don't succeed this, on this. One, this two. may well just be a lesson of uh, what not to do. No, actually, in... if, 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 you want to, if you want some comfort, this is the right thing to do. <laughs> okay. This is absolutely... Getting an early artifact is amazing. But as you say, you, you're limited by the cards you've got in your hand. And if you don't have any movement, but you've got loads of attack, then do it. Yeah. Do it. So what have we got here? We've got... Where are you, walk through? 
We've got the Ice Golems. Who have symbols. They have Paralyze. If oh, a unit we've gets we've wounded... Drawn a token up, yeah? Oh, wow. Which yes, I've got, I've got um, these guys here, the Ice Golems. Yep, got them. So they would destroy a unit if a unit uh, took some damage from these. Paralyzation. If, if I take wounds from them, I have to discard any non-wound cards it from my hand. Yeah. Oh, so that means like it needs to be killed early doors then. It's uh, it's resistant to ice attacks, which is okay. I haven't got them. Uh, and it's... Oh, it's got physical resistance as well, so it needs yeah. to be attacked with fire. If you can do four points of ranged fire attack right now, then I'll call you a cheat. But if yeah. you could, that, that would yeah, be Yeah, that perfect. would be great. If yeah. I had them red cape monks as well, that would be great. Otherwise, you're but... going to need four points of block or you're paralyzed. And then yeah, you won't so we'll... be able to hit it back. So... I think it's... So Rage is going to have to be played for its um, block. So there's two blocks. What's block. it got? It's got... It's got it's two yeah, points Yeah, it's got two attacks, attack. but it's ice attack, so That's block it. is halved. Physical block is inefficient and therefore halved. So I don't... Oh, I'm going to have to spend all of my cards again, aren't I? So two block in Rage right there. Three, four. To block... Yep. His attack, so I don't discard all of my cards. Yep, and then you need and eight then I attack. Can... Oh, yeah, because it's physical resistance, isn't it? It's just yeah. not possible. No. According to my text chat, that is the worst enemy you could have drawn right now. Yeah. But them's the breaks. Yep. There we go. So we'll discard that enemy. Man mana draw, get some tokens, and do eight damage. Can you? Okay. Can I? Can I do that and block, though, Emil? No, the problem I, is I, you've got to I, block because of the paralysis. Yeah. If you don't block, then you lose all of the cards in your hand. Yeah. If I, I, I've got to spend all of the stuff to block first because yeah, all of this is gone otherwise. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know why YouTube's censoring you. Oh, you think, you think this herbalist should be sacrificed? Can't use the herbalists. Oh, yeah, I can't use units. I'm attacking a monastery. No. Nope. The herbalists yeah, it, are standing these are, by. These are all... Tutting and shaking their head. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't come in with me. They're all um They're all great ideas, but I think uh, we're just stuck on this one. Yeah. Uh yeah. I, I would put the damage on Herbless, but they, they aren't part of the fight. Yeah. So would they just what happens with this? It just gets discarded? Yeah. Yeah, the token gets discarded. There we go. That's just it. That is it. Now what did you do? Did you block it or did you not block it? In other words, did you want to completely lose all of the cards in your hand? I should probably... Oh, no, because you'd take the damage as well. You'd take the damage and discard all of the cards. So yeah, you want to block I should, it. I you? should... Yeah, so I'll just... Yeah. So Rage is two. I'm not going to want to influence anytime soon. Mm -hmm. mm. Harold has just joined in. He said he was hoping okay. to see the game played with physical Swiftness. components and not tabletop simulator. This is actually tabletop simulator. They've improved the technology so that it actually now looks like a physical game. <laughs> yeah, they've, put, they've, they've put a lot of fuzziness and glare into tabletop simulator. <laughs> there we go. I think that is just it. Poor it's luck. Right off turn. And that's just the way it goes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, the choices are spend three cards to block or lose your whole hand and take a wound, which is you spend three cards to block. Yeah. Right. Okay. Are you all done? Yeah. Right. Let's get to me. So let's look at the map. Let's see where we are. We're here. Uh, we got a red crystal for staying there. We have a monster den here. Uh, now, monster dens are quite useful because there's a monster down there, which could be worth XP, fame. But if we look at the way the map has gone and this is a wedge formation we can't really explore there so if i go there that's kind of it's kind of out of the way a bit so i think my plan this turn is to move to here and explore now we have steady tempo again and there is still blue manor in the source so we can absolutely do that so steady tempo plus blue manor that's move four three of which gets me to the forest and then i just need another one um, determination or rage? 
Oh, that's a good question. I think I'm going to use determination sideways for the extra move. So that's the two move that I need. And I'm going to explore. Now I have a choice. I could explore here or here. Um, I'm actually going to explore here. Now you don't get one fame for exploring. That only applies to the very first tutorial scenario. But Tom, I would like you to draw me a new countryside tile, please. Ooh. And then I will grab it. It is number two. Tile number two. Okay, that's one of the nice, easy starting ones. Okay, so that goes on there. Now, I don't really have much in the way of extra movement and the fact that you got held back there. I think I'm just going to have a nice, simple, easy turn. Uh, and that's it. I'm just going to end it there. So the steady tempo goes on top of my deck again. I roll the mana dice. It is white. And then I discard determination and draw two cards. You'll go. Okay. Oh, and by the way, the orc, where is he? This one. Here's the new... Uh... Oh, yeah, there's an orc on the board. Yes. Here's the new orc. Which one is it? Uh... He's fortified oh, a bit. He's got a shovel. The... Yeah, it's the one with the shovel. The orc shoveler. No, it's an orc uh... digger. That's it. Okay, I will get that and I will put that on the map. Right, so here is what I've got. I've got some movement. Hey, go places. Run away. So. Digger. There we go. That also means that there's not very much attacking going on. So I could. Yeah, getting tokens isn't that great. I could go on the crystal mines, making my way to, say, the village or one of the orcs. Like. Over here, what kind of movement is that that we're talking? Two and three. That's doable. I just don't think... You know, I can jump down that dungeon, but all I've got is, like, attack four helping me out there. I've got the herbalists to kind of shove in front of me and take a bit of damage, but other than that, they're not going to do very much for me. So I could... What's, what options have I got movement-wise? I could. We've got some we've got some blue mana in here, haven't we? Boost my stamina to move a little bit. Move four, and then I would have to play something sideways. Maybe crystal mastery isn't going to be very useful anymore. What have you got in the um, What have you got in the source at the moment? March sideways. I've got a blue. I've got blue, blue, white, red. Yeah, so is that right? Uh, no, it should be sorry, blue, white, white, red. Blue, blue, white, red. Ah, no, it's blue, white, white, red because I used a blue, oh, okay. rerolled it, and put it back as a white. So there's only ah, there one blue in the source at the moment. Apparently, we have the maps laid out differently. Yes. So you see where you've just put that hex? Yeah. Uh, it's not there. It's on the edge. Like uh, that. There you go. That's it. Thank you very much. Ah. Okay, so I, yeah, I think I might just walk to my crystal mines a little. Oh, wait, that's going to cost me more then. So I could go to that crystal mine. And I, you, I think, you, yeah, I should be standing on the forest. I just don't think I'm going to do very much. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. In the dungeon. Or we could just. <laughs> There's a quick, just uh, be... quick reminder in my chat that you can't use units in dungeons. All right. Just in case you were the playing. So. aren't. Yeah, the herbalists aren't really going to help me out there at all. Yeah. Maybe I just use stamina and we just go over here and see what I can find here. Yeah. And see what comes out. I've like got myself you. tile 11. Tile 11. I think that's the last tile in the base game, tile 11. So we've got a mage tower that's that face down. With your favourite. Yeah, mage yes. towers are face down unless you're next to them during the day. We've got an orc who is... What's your name, buddy? Uh, the Cursed Hag. Oh. Let's come wow. out on the rampaging space. And then... We have a ruins, which is face up because it's daytime. Face up ruins. 
three green mana for seven fame. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that. Uh, so I've got two movement oh, to get there. On the the it's deck. two to reveal the tile. So yep. that is all of my movement that I've generated there and so far. Drawn another lake. So <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty much just stuck there. Yeah, well, you can move through me if if you had another five movement. Yeah, I think I just got to wait there then. I can I can move on to that crystal mines, but that's not leading me anywhere either because that's just leading me towards the edge of the the map really. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm probably gonna have to zoom this out a little bit. I'm probably just gonna have to wait. I don't see anything I can really do here. Zoom the map out a little bit. Then go back there and get a crystal, Emil. I, can, I suppose I can double it once I've got it there, and then I've got something to maybe use. So I can just use March and say Rage sideways to get three movement to go on there. So I get myself at the end of a turn. Get onto the. Yeah, the crystal mine, yeah, you'll get, get a, the crystal at the end of the turn. Get a crystal? Yeah, I will do that. Okay. So new die in the source. I've taken a blue and it's blue. red. And you so two red, red. two red, two white in the source now. Okay. It's not what I wanted. Okay. Let's have a look at my turn, what I want to do. Well, I have this steady tempo, which I've been using now for the last three turns. Unfortunately, there's no blue mana. So it would only be move two. Um, yeah, can't do anything about that uh, that ruin. Don't have three green mana. Not going to be able to get three green mana anytime soon. Uh, we have an orc digger over there, which is worth a couple of fame if I can get to it. There's also a healing blade. But I'm look I'm eyeing up this village now. What can be recruited in the village? We have the Uton crossbowman. I threw away my promise. I still have my threaten in my deck somewhere um yeah i do kind of want to get there so ah but i also want to crystallize and i want to heal a card oh i i think i'm just going to go slow and this is the good thing with playing against another player against the ai you can't play as slow as I'm playing right now because the AI is diving through the cards so quick. Um, how many cards have you got left in your deck? That's what that's what I need to know. The five in my hand. And that's it. Yes. Okay. Right. So ignore what I said about you can't you can play slow. Um, <laughs> message in my chat. How did Tom move on top of the mine? That would have needed seven movement. Uh. Stamina with a mana is four. Yeah. March is two. Yeah. Rage sideways. There you go. So you ended on the line. Yeah. Okay, so you've no cards in your deck. No. Nope. So you could, if you wanted to, at the start of your next turn, declare end of day. Mm. You could. It's if you've got no cards in your deck yeah. that you may declare end of day. If you have no cards. Turn. Yeah, if, yeah, if you if you no, I think you skip your turn. Oh, right, okay. Right. If you have no cards in your deck or your hand, you must declare. End of day. So, yeah, you could. I don't think you will. Um, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, Tom generated seven movement points on his turn, went there, explored, and then went there. So, yeah, we're all good. But I've, I've still got a massive deck of cards. <laughs> so this is the thing. I've, I've, I've been going too slow. Um, so, yeah, we need to do something. So I'm going to play Steady Tempo. Uh, and I think, I think I'm going to play Tranquility to heal that wound. So I am wound free. So move two. I'm going to move to here. Um, now, do I want to move on to the, the village? I think I do. So I'm going to use those two cards sideways, which is... Painful to do so. It's either that or I don't. Maybe I don't heal the wound. Yeah, I'm not going to heal the wound. Let's take that back. 
Let's take that back. Steady tempo for two. Uh, tranquility sideways for one. Rage sideways for one for four movement. And I am going to move two to there and two onto the village. So I have arrived on the village. Um, I don't really have much in the way of interaction. So I can't actually recruit anybody. I probably will pillage it. Um, but I'm going to play crystallize and I am going to take the... Uh, I'm going to take the red mana from the source and then I'm going to use crystallize to turn it into a red crystal. And then I'm going to re-roll the red mana. Oh, we got Marty cam. There you go, there's Marty. I've re-rolled the mana and I've put it back as green. Green. Uh, and all of these cards go. I have a wound in hand. I'm then going to draw four new cards. One, two, three, four. But then after my turn is over, I am going to pillage the village. So I lose a reputation and I draw two extra cards. So I now only have two cards left in my deck. I think that was the right thing to do. You'll go. Right. Yes. So. That was the right thing. If we look, everyone, at this uh, this poor crocodile's last hand. <laughs> Unless he's just going to run in a circle for a bit. He could he could get some distance. Oh, we got a pull over there and shield it up. I could get some distance away. I could get another crystal. Run to another mine, maybe. Or... Hmm. I just don't really have that much in the way of fighty things. And by fighty things, I mean I've got swiftness. I've got ranged attack three. Uh, the ruins. Ruins to generate three mana. Well, it's, it's three uh, green mana to get seven fire. Yeah. It's brilliant if you've got I, three green mana. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can get like I can get two. You can get two, two green mana. Yeah, die like tokens, but uh, not three. If you, like if, yeah, if you had a green crystal, that would be great. That's seven fame. Yeah, suddenly you're level three. I mean, oh yeah, you're right. I can still put steady tempo on the bottom of my deck. Thank you. I did mean to do that. Oh yeah, the, the oh, very very good point. The herbalist can get you a green mana token. Yeah, yeah. So, so you've got one green mana in the source. So I would have to. So the thing from the source would have to be, the mana draw has to have a white mana on it to get its ability. Have get you got tokens. mana draw? Yeah. In hand. Yeah. You can do it then. So mana draw uses the white mana, which yeah. takes a green mana, which gives me two green mana tokens. Well, you take Thank any you, die yeah. from the source and set and it to any get... colour. You could take the black one if oh, you I wanted. Could... Oh, I could set it to anything. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to take the green one. Mm. I don't want more dice coming in at this point. I want things to be narrowing. Well, seven so times I could, is a I, big I, boost. I can play the herbalists to get the third green token mm -hmm. that I had completely forgotten that they did anything. You've used the white and the yep. so I now need to generate five movements. Five I movement. can't use mana, but I've got movement coming out of everywhere. To be honest, <laughs> I've got um, march. I've got stamina for four. I've got swiftness for six. I need five to get in there. So easy. Hop over to the map. Head over there. I've got three green mana tokens. Ruins. Wow. Maybe. We're back in the room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is a, a double level up right there. You're on 11 fame. <laughs> oh, 11. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you start on one, don't you? you? Start on one. So, wow. That's, yeah. uh, <laughs> that's so, knocked things back up a little so bit. So just to check, you use the white die, white mana from the source to power mana draw. Yeah. And you then, then took the black. I took, I took, uh, I took the green die. Oh, and you just took left the green. it as it and just left it as it was. And left it as green, but you're not going to re-roll that. That will go back as green. Oh, yeah, that goes back as green. The white will be re-rolled. White is going to become a gold. Okay, you are also next to the mage tower. 
And oh yeah, so that goes face up. Yeah. So the mage tower gets revealed. In the mage tower is what is it? A fire mage. Oh yeah. There he is. Okay. And so I kind of think I'm probably not going to have another turn. I should probably just play Crystal Mastery. And then just declare end of round. Well, you can only okay. declare end of round at the start of your... Yeah, like, I mean, next... Oh, so, next turn. Yeah. yeah. Rather than just having a whole turn next turn where I play Crystal uh, Mastery. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll play it now and get another red Crystal. Okay. And that is all of my cards played. Oh, wow. Thanks, Emil. Oh, Emil's leaving me. <laughs> my my guide's leaving. Sorry, now we've got this 11, th 11 mana sorted. I'm going to have a good hard think about what okay. leveling up's going to be yeah. while, well, you, uh, while Paul... You, you can be doing that while I take my turn. So yeah. I've got this turn. You're then going to declare end of round, and then I will have one more turn. Yes. So off we go. Let's have a look at my hand. Because I pillaged the village, I have all of these cards, uh, which I actually should have thought first. I should have I should have drawn my first five first. And then thought about what it is that I wanted to do. Um, because if I'd have drawn my Threaten, which I did, I should have probably just stayed here and tried to recruit the Utum Crossbowman first. Um, now, I could just move and explore. Because I've got quite a few move cards here. And I've got my own mana draw as well. Um, so, yeah. We've no blue in the source, but we do have gold. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what we're going to do. I've got tirelessness as well, which is an improved card for me. Uh, I don't know if we want to do that. <clears throat> I might. I might just stay here this turn. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play stamina for move two. And I'm just going to use that to explore. Okay, so Tom, could I have an exploration card, please? Exploration tile. You can. Uh, number five. Tile number five. How many countryside tiles left in the deck? One? Yes. Right, okay. So we have another orc. Let me know which one it is. Oh my! There we go. New orc is going to be. Oh, he's looking very frosty. It is uh, a summoner. Oh right, okay. They're yeah, nasty. And we have a monastery, so we have another advanced action added into the unit offer. So uh, I get into this in a sec. I have taken diplomacy. That's oh, out right, there. Yes. You and, uh, it's been replaced by Frost Bridge. Frost Bridge, yeah. And uh, the one that's going into the unit offer is Ice Bolt. Frost Bridge, Ice Bolt. Okay. Right. So. Do I now want to stay here? and get some crossbowmen on my side, I think I do. So I'm actually, having now explored, I am going to stay where I am. I am going to play Threaten using the red mana from the source, which gives me influence five, plus one because of my current reputation is six, which is enough to recruit the Uton crossbowmen, but then my reputation goes down by one because I threatened the poor villagers. Um, okay, now, do I want to throw any cards away? Uh, I don't think I do. I need to make sure next turn I have six movement. Uh, which is actually going to be a little tricky. Oh, no, I can do it. Yes, I can just do it. So, no, I don't think I want to throw any cards away. Nope, we're all good. So that card, Threaten, gets discarded. Uh, I re-roll the red mana die and put it back. As, it's another gold. It's getting brighter as the day goes on. <laughs> right. Your go. You declare end of round. 
I will declare end of round. Oh, apparently I could have played three more influence to remove the wound. Yes, I could have done. But I'm not going to because I need to make sure I've got these cards. Yeah, I'd forgotten. You can also heal in villages. Thank you very much. Uh, did you get a skill, by the way? Which skill did you choose? Or are you still oh, deciding? I think... Yeah, I'm still deciding. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It doesn't matter at the moment. So my last turn is going to be to play Mana Draw, which allows me to use uh, one additional Mana Die from the source this turn. I take the two gold, because I can. I use one of them uh, on Tirelessness for move four. I use March for move two, which is six movement, which moves me through the hills onto the Blue Crystal Mine. And then as my action, I provoke the orc. And then what I do is I manage to kill it in ranged combat because what I've got is I've got the other gold mana, which I use for swiftness for ranged attack three. And then I activate the Uton crossbowman for ranged attack two. So that's ranged attack five. And that kills these orcs before they get to summon. So that's four fame. One, two, three, four. I'm on nine. And I get me one reputation back for killing those. And level three is basically that. It's nice and simple. Okay, that is me done. I'll roll those dice. I'll put them back. Uh, yeah, we're all done. End of the day. So we have to go through a whole load of maintenance now to switch over to night time. Which is what? Taking your whole deck... Taking you everything about it, refreshing Shuffle units, all of that up. refreshing my skills. So have you decided which skill you've taken? I think I'm going to try universal power. My op my options are mm -hmm. universal power. Play something sideways with a mana. Give plus three instead of plus one. Yeah. And if it matches color. Gives you plus four instead. Yep. And then, quite tempting as well, plus one, siege or ice siege attack. One. Great for attacking oh. fortified things. And I get a blue crystal at the end of my turn. Thank you. I had forgotten that. Which one do you want? You're taking well, universal like, power? Yeah, I feel like... So your ice siege goes into... I'm going to need that. ...the offer. So the... We, we're flipping flipping day tonight. Yep, we are removing the all. bottom card from each of the two offers. I think. And sliding them down. And the, the units all go away, right? The units and the advanced action all go away. And we get new ones. So we get five units and two advanced actions because we've got two active monasteries on the board. Okay, so we've uh, got... Universal power is a top five skill, according to most players. Cool. There you go. Good choice. Okay. It is really good. We've, we've got, for our five units, we've mm -hmm. got double foresters, we've got double Utem swordsmen, and an Utem guardsman. It's all about the Utems. Double They're swordsmen. They're living life right now. Yeah, double swordsman and a single guardsman. Yeah. Then, for actions in the unit offer, there's refreshing walk and heroic tale. Refreshing walk and heroic tale. Okay. And then the the new cards that have replaced the ones at the bottom. Yep. Are Swift Bolt, so it so it's Swift Bolt, Frost Bridge, Learning, yep, in the advanced actions, and then the new it's spell swift. is Meditation. I think this came up last time. Digital version of Mage Knight. It's 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 being worked on, right? It's being worked on. No, that's all, that's no all nothing concrete say. to announce, but nope. it's. I haven't the... had any reply to my last email that I sent to them, where I said. What's going on with the digital version of Mage Knight? They haven't replied to it. So yeah. the, either... the digital elves are working away. <laughs> yeah. 
or the company that was doing it has folded and just not told me and not told no. anybody. I, I don't know. I've, all I can say is that I haven't heard anything from them for quite a while. Um, because to be honest, you know, a digital version of Major sounds amazing, but it's a big undertaking. Yeah. And it reminds me of the first company that tried to do through the ages digital before CGE did it. Before CGE was doing through the ages digital, another company was doing it and spent two years on it. And then eventually it just stopped because they realized they couldn't do it. Yeah. It, was, it was just so Vlager went, oh, well, I guess I better do it then. And then four years later, <laughs> you know, CGE was working on it for four years before it got released. And that was a team of people. Yeah. So, yeah, digital apps, a lot of work, a lot of work. Yeah. It's It seems crazy as well. Like the the stuff that is just in this base game, the cards that just kind of throw away the rules yeah. the way that they normally work. Yeah. Right. So what do we have for the source now that it is night time? Oh, in the source we have, you can see it live. It is black, double white, red and blue. Double white, red and blue. And that is allowed because there has to be at least 50% basic mana. Otherwise, you re-roll. Okay, so that's that done. We've refreshed all of our stuff. We've shuffled our whole decks together. And off we go. Two, three, four, five. We're both level three. We can both now have an extra unit available to us. And who goes first in round two? I uh, that's a good do. question. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's something else. So again, that just playing solo. As well. uh, let me have a look. Game setup, player area. Where is it? Where is it? If anybody in the chat can remind me, you might be able to get there quicker than I can find it uh, in the rule book. Reset the source, create a new unit offer, refresh the spells, players two tactics. The player with the lowest fame. Oh, that was it, of course. Silly me. Which is me. Right. So, yeah, the one very important thing that happens at the end of each round is that I have a Jaffa cake. Because I have a pack. These are special little travel packs of four Jaffa cakes. And I thought, well, that's perfect. Because there's four rounds in this game. So I'm just going to mute my microphone because otherwise it'll be very crinkly. In fact, Tom, you're probably going to get the crinkle on your stream. You got full crinkle here. Lots of crinkle. Right, so I'm going to have a Jaffa cake at the end of the round. There we go. Very important house rule. Okay, so I'm choosing tactics first. For night time. Okay. Now, let's have a look at my cards. And let's have a look where I am and what it is that I'm actually trying to do. <laughs> well, let's have a look at the offer. Nothing that can be recruited in a monastery. But there is some nice advanced actions there. And I do have influence. And there is white manor in the source. So I think I know what my first aim is. Let's have a look at what we want to do here. And am I going to try and take a city out on night one? Which would be amazing. <laughs> If I did that, that would be very, very good. Um, I don't think you're going to get to that monastery before me. So I'm, I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. <clears throat> we will try. So I'm going to take sparing power. So I'm going to be going last this round. Which card would you like? I think I'm going to go for preparation. Yep. I never media. take preparation. You know why? What's that? Because I think it's awesome. And then every time I take it, I then have to look through my deck and I don't know which card to get. <laughs> so it basically slows the whole game down by half an hour while I, and then I just pick randomly. I so. think the only thing that right now, I think some 
Improvisation. Yeah. Help me write about now. Well, you'll go first, so I'll switch to your stream. Ooh. So I'll shuffle my deck, but my, my plan is I'm standing next to a mage tower. You are. I know what's in there. You know what's in there. I know that he's just got fire resistance. I haven't got any fire attacks. We're just coming at him with... Um... Don't forget, you'll need siege. Oh, yeah, they're fortified, aren't they? They are yeah. fortified. Nation isn't going <clears> up. And you need to move on to the Hex and you lose a reputation for doing that because it's an assault. Maybe we should go to something else. Yeah, but it's five fame and a spell. Only He's only resistant to fire attacks. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I can move there. That's no problem. I've got some... Um, I've got some swiftness because the thing I'm going to... Oh, I've got to... Um, I can't activate my will focus. Get crystal of things. But I could just use Will Focus to get a red token and then do Improvisation. But there's no need to do that. I've got red in there. Just there's no green to do Will Focus's brilliant yeah, thing. No so green in the source. But you do have your maybe, lists. So maybe that should... Um, if you needed them. If you needed the green. Because I can, I can generate the five by boosting Improvisation, which I could do if I needed to with a red crystal. But... It's only um, it's only resistant to fire, right? It so is only resistant. A physical to fire. ranged attack will just kill it. Uh, oh, it's fortified though, isn't it? It's fortified. So can't you, can't, you can still use so ranged, but you can't use ranged in the room. Yeah, it just it just works place. as normal attack, doesn't yeah. it? So I've got to. So I'd have to block it for a lot. Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> but or just take three wounds. But I do have, like, say with the, with the herbalists, and the herbalists do have heal too. If I play a green mana, mm -hmm. but if the herb, let's just think about this. If the so herbalists, herbalists gave aren't me used at the moment, that to that token should be not on. No, me. yeah. If the herbalists gave me a green mana, yeah, for will focus, I could use that on determination. That's eight. Um, that's eight block right there. Mm-hmm. Got to move on there somehow. Oh, it would be two wounds, yes. Two wounds because I'd forgotten to flip your token over. But I could, for example, like this is so that's a token that was generated, that's a crystal I already had. I could use swiftness then sideways with a white die that I haven't used there, and that's four more block. Swiftness sideways. So oh, using your universal power. Because I've got my universal power that's uh so, because I'm using a white mana on a white card being played sideways, it's plus four. And that's why that skill is awesome. So that would be block eight, block four is block twelve. Improvisation is doing the attack that I need. Don't forget, you've got yes. a discard so card got... for improvisation. So I think that's going to have to be crystallized because I need... need to move to get on. I need the... march to get on there. So crystallize, unfortunately, is going to have to get sacrificed again. Yeah. Now, don't forget, you think... could just take the two wounds rather than the 12 block. Just in case, I don't know what it is because you're putting a lot of effort um... into 12 block. Oh, just... oh, oh yeah, because um, it's only six damage, isn't it? It's six It's six damage and you've now got three armor. So it's yeah. it, it's two wounds. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. So... I could, I could, the herbalist could just save those wounds. The herbalist could heal those wounds at a point in the future. Yeah. So it's, then I would it's only something be using, to consider. Then I would only be using... Uh, okay, message in my chat that the plus four is on spells, three on other cards. Is it? Let's have a look. Yeah, it does look like a spell. Uh, you may add one mana to a card played sideways. Oh, if it's a spell of the same colour. No, if it is an action oh. or spell of the same colour. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so it is fine. Yeah, it's all good. But... Yeah, it's probably I could I could save a lot of cards if I didn't do that, and yeah, just took the two wounds and then healed them potentially next turn straight away. Yeah, because it would I have to use march, I have to use improvisation and discard something, which I think I could just discard determination, keep crystallize in here because I can get crystals then, and then instead of using one of my red crystals, I could. Just use the red die. 
and then so I wouldn't draw any cards then would I I would just those cards would basically be replaced by the two wounds mm -hmm. but I think that's worth it so yes let's uh, head on over to the map so I've marched two into this mage tower okay so you lose one reputation they don't Do like it not. up them <laughs> Uh, so I am I am not well regarded. No. Right now. They're starting to get put off me a little <laughs> hey, bit. Hey, hey, look, it's that it's that green dragon that tried burning down that monastery to the south. <laughs> he just keeps setting fire to things and then strolling away from the fight. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I am not blocking, so that is gonna be two wounds. Two wounds to hand. Yeah. Into the hand. But then improvisation. Uh boosted with a red mana die. Uh for discard under the card from your hand for Attack five. Mm -hmm. Dead. And yeah. Oh, yeah, just. Oh, wait, it's. Uh, I'm thinking of um, Dragon Lady's improvisation that does ranged attack. Yes, yeah. But her battle doesn't... versatility is an improved version yeah. of improvisation. Yeah, so it's just it's just normal attack anyway. But no matter, because it's enough. That's uh, So that's going to be five on the fame. Five on the fame, three, which is a level five, up. Which is something else. You know, seventeen. You're level four. All right, so I need to put a shield on this. Where have I put my big batch of shields? It's over here. Yep, I have uh, marked that yep, mage yep, tower yep, yep, as yep. fortified. Yours. And mark it the shield token and gain a spell. You gain a spell. And then I can recruit units, and well, anyone can recruit units and buy spells here. Yeah, because that mage tower has been liberated for all players. All right, so I will. Get these cards out of the way, and I will think about my level up. Yeah, think about your level up, because I think there is an order um, to which you take the spell or the level up. Um, in other words, which card goes on top of your deck first. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Surely the combat rewards go first, and then the level up. So right. the spell that you get will uh, go on top of your deck. spell first. And then the advanced action you get for leveling up, that will then go on top of that. Right. I'll choose these things. Yeah, Hi, Monica. Monica is dual streaming. That's the she way is. to do it. That is the way to do it. Watch both streams. <laughs> right. I'm going to switch back to my view while you're leveling up. And I'm going to take my first turn of the day. But before we do, I have sparing power. So once before the start of each of your turns, I can either put the top card of my deck face down under this or flip this card face down and put all of the cards into my hand. So I'm basically building up for a big turn. Now, where are we? We are on a blue crystal mine. I can't recruit anything at the blue crystal mine. I don't really want to stay here. We've got blue, blue. Did you use anything from the source? I used a white, actually, which I okay. didn't uh, re-roll. It it as... Blue now. So we've got uh, blue, blue, black, white. Blue, blue, black, white, red. Red. Yeah. Okay. So, kind of want to do a bit more exploring. Oh, no, I was going to the monastery, wasn't I? That's what I was doing. Um, so we can get to the monastery with just move four. Ah, but then I'm not using that. Now, they like me at the monastery. So, yes, we can do this. So I play stamina for move two. I play march for move two. That gets me into the monastery. Uh, I'm going to be using the white mana to play Promise, which is four influence, plus one is five, and I'm going to have to turn a card sideways. Oh, this is... So I could actually explore again if I wanted to, but I don't think I do. Hmm. I don't really want to use my swift reflexes sideways because it is such a good card. So I'm not going to. I'm going to turn the rage sideways. Yeah, so there we go. So four influence, plus one for my reputation, plus one for the rage is six influence. And I'm going to learn. Now, this is interesting. I could learn heroic tale and then use heroic tale to learn the refreshing walk. <laughs> yeah, and then my deck is filled with advanced actions. 
which is pretty good. Um, what else can you do at a monastery? You can heal wounds, two influence per wound, and you can burn it down if I wanted to burn it down. But I don't know whether I do. That's your job. So the other option is that I just take refreshing walk, um, which is move and healing. Yeah, I quite like, quite like heroic tale, I think. So yeah, so I'm going to spend my six influence. Uh, Marcus is asking in the chat, did you discard another card for improvis improvisation? Yeah, that was uh, you did. termination. Right. Okay, there you go. I've got that. I've got these as well. So actually, I could, I'm happy taking some wounds. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, I think I'm done. The white manor is going back as black. It's getting dark. That goes, that goes, that goes. They go there. I'm going to keep swift reflexes in hand and I draw four cards. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're all good. Now, don't forget, when you leveled up, you could have chosen my skill from the offer that I chose not to take if you wanted to. I think I've got an offer too good to turn down. Okay. In my skills, I've got... Well, the other one is uh, Crystal Fever. I don't know what it's called. Uh, get a blue crystal and a red mana token. Yeah. Once per round. But with how horrible this map is, <laughs> light. Have you got your wings? Once per round, He's let this to wings. move to an adjacent space for free or for two move points, yep. two spaces. Okay. And I don't provoke people. Yep. Oh, my ad block's been updated. So. Nice thing to replace the chat. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to take flight, definitely. Okay. I took from the spells chill. You took chill, yep. The new one that's come out is Mana Bolt. Okay. And the advanced action that I will take... I was going to take Frostbridge, but it seems a bit excessive. If I'm taking flight as well. Being able to move through all these lakes does seem nice. But I think I'm going to take Swift Bolt. Mm -hmm. Some more attack. Love Swift Bolt. And maybe just more crystalline. Yep. Uh, so, new card. card that comes out is Blood Ritual. And so, all that just goes on the top of my deck, though, because uh, we're left with the same hand. I did have. Uh, I had an extra card in my hand for because of my tactic. That's why I've right. still got the exact same cards. So, we haven't. What is the um oh dear. Don't switch to don't switch to Paul's stream while he's looking at mine. It'll go all inception. What have we got <laughs> in the um oh, in the source right now? Blue blue, black black, red. Black black red. Hmm. That'd be great when my spell comes out. So I can just stick with the wounds for now, because I need a green for my herbalists. I do have will focus still. I could just get a green crystal and then spend it. Or actually, the, yeah. Oh, no, I couldn't use the Herbalist to get a green token and then use the Herbalist to get a no, heal too. No. That doesn't quite work. But I am in... I'm in a place that's going to be great once I've got some cards available because I could buy a spell for seven influence and a mana. And I could buy... Are there any units about? No, not really. No units that are hanging out in the Mage Tower. Unfortunately. But... So with the cards that I've just got, it's just a little bit of movement. I think we've maybe got to got to move on. I, I could use Crystallize. I could power up Crystallize to get myself a green mana. In a crystal of any colour. So I would spend a blue from the source to use Crystallize. Get a green crystal and use it to heal these wounds. I just feel that Will Focus is way better to hang on to that and use it for its bottom thing. Mm-hmm. Than to just, I mean, crystallize it as well, but I think we've got to spend a turn clearing out the hand a little bit. So I'm going to use a blue die from the source on crystallize, gain a green crystal, but I'm immediately going to spend it and use the herbalists to heal two. To heal two. Yep. And get rid of those wounds. And then, let's see, I can move to, I've got my, um, got my flight now, of course, so I could use that two movement to skip over to 
somewhere where I really want to be. Or I could just hang out. Yeah, I don't really want to go back. Go right over there. Don't really want to go all the way up here and fight this. There is just a lowly little orc up here, this digger. The digger. It's but trouble, man. He's a long way away. Yeah. Maybe I'll just leave it there for now. It's kind of early doors, isn't it? I might mm -hmm. I might be the slow one this round. I think I'm just gonna have a bit of R and R in this uh in this mage tower for now. Okay. And leave it at that. So uh I took a blue out of the source and it's coming back as a green. You're not moving this turn then. I'm just sticking around there. Yeah. Now just a quick reminder. Um, we're playing on a wedge formation map, so that means that the edges cannot be core tiles. Oh. Okay. Oh, there is a there is a crystal mine. There. Maybe I should have done that. I haven't done anything with all of these crystals, but I I know I am Mister Crystal. Well, I've got four of them. I'm competing with you. <laughs> right. Are you done? Yes. Right. Okay. So let's have a look at what I'm going to do. Start of my turn. I'm going to put one card under sparing power. Now I've got a wound in hand. I can't remember. I, and I remember taking two wounds right at the start of the game and I remember healing one of them. Oh yeah. The other wound just was in my hand and, and, and it disappeared. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my skill because that heals a wound and gets me a white crystal. There you go. Um, right, now, what am I going to do? Am I going to move? Or am I going to stay here? I mean, I could just... Oh, I don't have any movement cards. I have swift reflexes. Do I really want to use that for move two? When it could be ranged attack three? <laughs> it's such a good card. Ranged attack three from that, plus the ranged attack two from the Uton Crossbowman. I have ranged attack five available to me. And, yeah. Oh, I don't think we want to... I think I might just... No, I think I'm going to move forward. So I'm going to use... Uh, oh. Yeah, that's interesting. I might have to use that white crystal. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use the white crystal from my sack for swift reflexes, for move four, I'm going to spend the first two movements of that exploring what will be the, fi uh, yeah, the final countryside tile. Now, let me just place these. Yeah, I can explore in two different places. So if you look at the map, I could explore here or here. So basically, which one of these do I want to be a countryside tile and which one do I want to be a core tile? Um, I'm going to explore here, Tom. So okay. what countryside tile is that? That is 10. Countryside tile number 10, and that's the last countryside tile in the stack, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so... Number 10 is... That one. There's a keep. Now, it's night time, which means, even though I'm adjacent to it, it's face down. So we don't know what's in there. We have a ruins, which again is face down. We don't know what's in there. Uh, and that's it. But I still have two movement left. So I'm going to explore the other place. Now, remind me, how many core tiles do we have in this game? Is it three? Three, and two of them are cities. Two of them are cities. So I'm going to explore there with my other two movement points. So what have we found? You've you found yourself the non-city. It's two. The, the non-city. Tile number two, is it? Okay. So we know that the next two core tiles are the ones with the cities on. Uh, two. This is the... Ugh. This is... Oh. Uh, you've, you've provoked some things. Oh. So we have a mage tower, which again is face down because it's night time. And we're not next to it. We have another ruins, which is also face down, uh, and we have a draconum, which is yeah, face you, up. You've, you've you've drawn the attention of a fire dragon. A fire dragon, eh? 
Yeah, which one's that? I have <laughs> got all the expansion ones in here, so I need to take them out. It's not that one, I don't think. No. It's that no, one? Like seven, seven, um, seven block and then fire and physical resistance. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Nine attack, eight fame. Yes. Yeah. Okay, right. So that's my movement point spent. Well, <laughs> I haven't used the mana from the source yet. Um, I suspect that I will not be moving again this turn and that I will just be using the blue mana from the source to crystallize a white crystal. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to stay where I am, and I'm going to keep these two cards in hand, and I'm going to discard these two, and that is my turn done. Because what I'm planning to do, I'm going to roll the dice and put it back. It's red. Uh, I'm planning to attack that dragon next turn, if I can, because then I can stay in the monastery to heal up. That's my plan. Right, over to you while I draw my cards. It's exciting. Right. Okay, the map is just about... You on screen map. We'll we'll move some of this irrelevant map out of the way. Oh, Although that's maybe that's where we're gonna make that's where maybe we're gonna make our final stand. I've drawn no combat cards after just saying <laughs> I'm about to <laughs> Yeah. Right. So let's see. In the way of God, I've got a bit of a mix. I'm not great at anything right now. Like a clear guide of what I want to go over and do. Yeah, I have got my flight. So I'm quite far away from everything. Mm -hmm. That Apart double lake in the middle. That tag that's right there. Yeah, it's really annoying. If I had some... I've only got swiftness, but when it's boosted, it turns into attack rather than more move. I've, got, I've just got... Uh, a will focus isn't going to help me move anywhere. Of course, get mana tokens. If I wanted a load of ranged attack, I mean, a nice. If I was next to something right now, I'd be in quite a nice position to be fighting, I think. But I'm not. So, what I'm going to do instead. The actual act of getting to a place is going to be my trouble. Got two, three movement. So there's been a couple of comments in the chat. Uh, one just now from Marcus, but there was also one about half an hour ago from somebody else about the placement of new tiles. And the rule is countryside tiles must be placed either adjacent to two other tiles or adjacent to a tile which is adjacent to two other tiles. In other words, it was legal for me to place this countryside tile here because although it was not next to two tiles, it was next to this which was next to two tiles. That's the rule for countryside tiles. Core tiles must be placed adjacent to two tiles. They cannot be placed yeah, so the rules are slightly different for countryside tiles to core tiles, which I think is where some of the confusion comes in. And I've just said all of that while pointing to my map, realising <laughs> that my map is not on screen. So. <laughs> oh, I want some more cards, but it's not happening, is it? Yeah, no. so you couldn't, like, if you'd have just not explored a second time there, you couldn't just keep making a big Correct, you can't make a big line. Just yeah. single tiles. Yeah. Well, we we got to get out from over here on the map. We've got to get out from fighting these three fame orcs. Well, if I, if I move away here, it, it just provokes if I move adjacent, right? So it... you, you provoke the orc if you move from a, a hex that is adjacent to it to another hex that is also adjacent to it. Yeah, so as long as I'm going away, it's okay. If you go away or you move in, then it's fine. Yeah, I could just... 
Seems like a bit of a waste of flight, but I could just... I should probably have hopped over to this last turn, really. Thinking about it now. Yeah, because then you'd have got a blue crystal as well. Yeah. I think... I need to spend two mana to do... Two move to do that anyway. Yeah. Maybe we'll just do that with swiftness and flip that for the turn. So flat, flat, if I could, flat. If there's, if there's something I didn't want... It's just that these cards are all really good. I know. Good it's it's always the difficult decision of, like, of which card do you throw away? Because, as you say, all cards are good. Yeah. I could, I could get myself another... What's in the... Red, red, green, and the two blacks. So to get plus four on a sideways card, I would have to use the green. I think if I, I could move once I'm there, but it's probably not a good idea to reveal the tile straight away. But I probably want to get rid of some cards, so I would be drawing some cards rather than starting the next turn in a similar situation of not having mm -hmm. a great deal of things to do. So my improvisation is gone, my big fighty thing. Yep. There's influence in there somewhere. Gnome has popped into the chat and asking if we're having fun exploring the countryside. I, <laughs> I most definitely am. There's some rolling yeah. hills. Pretty much. Yeah. I could. It. Yeah. I can't move off this space though. Yeah. I think I'm. I think I'm just going to do that. You're going to fly to the blue crystal mine. Just going to fly to the crystal mine. Hope to get. Another card that I want to use. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that blue that blue crystal is very good as well. For my spell. Yeah. Okay. Lesson for the future. Do that last turn. Yeah. Did you use anything from the source this turn? Uh. I. Like something sideways. Some more move, but no. I'm gonna. I'm just going to leave it there, I think. Yeah, I need all of these okay. cards. If Mana Draw gave me some crystals rather than tokens, it would be getting used, but it didn't. Yeah. Peter's popped into the chat as well. Hi, Peter. Thank you for joining in. As you can see, I'm playing Wolfhawk. So, my go. Now, I'm, I don't mind taking the three wounds from the Fire Dragon, but I don't have 14 attack. That's the problem. <laughs> I've got... Seven, which is half of what I need because I haven't drawn any attack cards. I could use my sparing power now to draw these two cards. In fact, I've got three. I've got three with the swordsman. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight attack. If I get these two cards, that's 10. I'd need them both to be attacks. Sean is here as well. Hi, Sean. Thank you for joining in. So yeah, I think... This turn, I'm actually just going to stay where I am. I mean, the other option is that I move on to the keep, but I don't like moving on to a keep when I don't know what's there. I much prefer trying to kill this Draconum. I don't think you're going to get in there and steal it before me, so I think I'm safe this turn. Oh, I could use this to draw a card. I could use Tranquility to draw a card. Is that going to help me? No, because I'm thinking of saving the Tranquility for next turn when I get an absolute beating and take three wounds in hand. Um, yeah, wow. Yeah, this is this is a bit weird. This, I, I might do a, do a burn down the monastery. No, because I haven't got any combat cards in hand. So, okay, I think I'm going to have... Um, yeah, I'm going to put a card under Sparing Power. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, so card goes under Sparing Power. I'm then going to have a pretty ineffectual turn. And you can't just do nothing in this game. If you actually choose to do nothing on your turn, you have to discard a card. So I am going to play a card. And I wanted to save that. So, in fact, do I? Or do I just discard a card? Oh, wow. I don't, I don't know if I've ever done this in any game of Mage Knight I've ever played. But the thing is... Oh, yeah, because the sparing power. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to play... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not do anything on my turn. Now, if I had wounds in hand, this would be great because I could have rested. 
Um, but I am literally just going to discard a card. And I, there's nothing else that I can do. I can't recruit anybody. I could I could learn the refreshing walk, but I don't need to. Oh, hang on. There is a there is a thing in there. I could draw a card. I could play Heroic Tale. I could get that. Yeah, actually, I'm going to do that. Right. So I am going to use the white crystal to play Heroic Tale for six influence, plus one because of my uh, reputation is seven. I'm going to use six of that seven uh, to learn Refreshing Walk, which goes on top of my deck. Um, and then the Refreshing Walk comes there. Do I just want to get rid of these cards? Yeah, I think I'm going to. I'm then going to discard from my hand March and Tirelessness. This is a... Oh, no, because then I... Oh, yeah, because I have more chance of getting... And this is what we were saying. I don't want to discard these cards because they're amazing cards. But right now, I need attack cards followed by healing cards. So I'm actually going to discard these cards from my hand to give me more chance of getting what I actually need. I didn't use a mana die from the source this turn. So that's it. That's my go done. I will draw my new cards and I will say it is your go. This is fascinating. I don't know whether this is the right thing to do. If you are an experienced player of this game and you are watching in the chat, what would you have done? What would you have done? Could draw two extra cards with Tranquility in green. I could have done, but I was saving that for the wounds. I was saving that to heal the wounds. So... If you're an experienced player, what should I have been doing this entire time? <laughs> right. What? Do I have to pay to move through you? No. But you cannot end the, your turn on my space. If you do, there is a thing called forced withdrawal. What's that? It's basically you return back to the space where you came from. Okay. So what you could do is you could move on to my space interact with the monastery and then at the end of your turn the forced withdrawal rule kicks in and you have to move back to the space you came from okay so it just put me back on the orcs well where the orcs were once yeah so let's see what's the oh none of these in the monastery do they no and i've taken both of the cards from the offer Oh, I've yeah. basically just spent two weeks in the monastery, not two weeks, but, uh, you know, a number of hours in the monastery learning loads of stuff. Let's see what we can do here. Build some crystals up, surely. There's stuff to do with them. I... Damn is the only thing that can really move me. I don't know what's going to be in the keep. Mm -hmm. But I can get there. Gamble. Mm -hmm. I have tokens. I have these red tokens that are completely right now. But. All of that. You've got your spell in hand. Nice. As well, I could do some good in combat, but I'd be able to actually walk anywhere now I'm here. I can use an additional die, or I can get. I couldn't really get two tokens of anything, I don't think. There isn't a white die. I could use will focus to get white and then do that, but then that seems like. Use Will Focus to boost something, so I could get some decent attacks, say, from Will Focus and Swift Bolt. Herbalists are used. I don't think. I'll just move a bit and wait. That's already two dice. There isn't a blue. What? What's the source right now? Black, black, red, red, green. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, if I want to use extra, that wouldn't use an extra die. 
I just did that to gain a blue, that would let me move four. That isn't on the key. Just realised there's somebody who I was going to tell about this stream and I forgot to tell them. <laughs> I'm going to tell them now. They're probably busy. Yeah. Probably busy designing another game, but I'll send Vlader a quick message. See if he wants to pop in and say hello. I could play things sideways though, can't I? You can. For a move, um, an attack, Three. an influence, and a block. Three's not enough. Swift Bolt's the only thing I've really got to attack with right now. And Will Focus can boost that right up. You know, I would have seven. Seven attack? Yeah, seven ranged attack it would give me. Mm -hmm. But... But if you are attacking the keep, remember you can't use ranged. Normal. I don't think I can get there and use the spell. Because my blue would probably have to go on stamina to actually get there. Uh, I'd have to use another card as well. Mana draw is what's letting me use two dice like this, so that's not available. That's there for attack. I just don't think. Again, it's not really possible. It's better to play stamina sideways with a mana on it, then it would be three move rather than two. But even then, three move doesn't get me a place I want to be at. I've already done my jump. I'm just just short of being able to do something powerful. I could just reveal the tile. It's going to be a city tile. Maybe there'll be something next to me that I could then do. Yeah, we don't know which city it's going to be. No, we don't know what's going to be right next to me on the map either. I don't think... Unless anyone has got any bright ideas, I don't think that because I will be using all of my cards here, I've already boosted them to the max, I think. Unless it was something really weak in the... So I can tell you what is in that position on the four possible city tiles. It's either a draconum, a draconum, a lake, or a keep. It's going to be a lake. <laughs> Just look at what's what's happened so it far. It'd be funny if it was a lake. But it's amazing how variable this game is with a relatively limited set of terrain tiles. But yeah, yeah. every game you play, the terrain is going to massively change how it works out. Yeah. If hey, what if I just played? Oh, uh, it's hurting my brain in a good way. <laughs> I can only do what universal power once a turn. Once per turn, yes, but you can you, you can do it every turn, but once per turn. So, so I could just that would. Is there a way around it? Not really. I could play that. That's. To move, I need like five moves to get over there, so that really needs to be powered up, which stops me being able to use my lovely spell. I can get more crystals. That wouldn't help me though, would it? I could get a blue crystal and then that's move four, but then that's used. And I wouldn't be able to do my ranged attack for. I wouldn't be able to use the bottom of this because there isn't a white die available. Nope. We play it sideways as attack three, attack four on something. Yeah, it's just my trouble of actually getting to somewhere.
that's really getting in my way. This to get tokens of any colour except gold. That helped me. I had different coloured tokens. Use one on there. Oh no. I got some tokens that were blue. I could do stamina four. And then I would still be able to activate that attack enough. Spent that to actually be able to draw. Bouncing around in circles here, just repeatedly finding out that I can't do <laughs> what you what want I want to do. Yeah, trying every angle to try and get at it, but I think that the answer is not right now. There's my the crystal that I got. Because the spell is going to be the key to yeah. fighting it, just just to stop something attacking. What spell did you get again? And Please chill. chill. So it's it's powered up ability. Target enemy doesn't attack this turn yeah. and gets armor minus four. That's insanely powerful. Yeah, would be surely way, the far and away the best thing to do. But it's I would then need something to attack with. And be able to get in. So, do you want me to throw another option in, unless you oh, haven't considered this? Because this is really not good for me. Could you move four onto the space I'm on, kill the dragon, and then have the forced withdrawal back? I. I don't want you to so, do that because I've spent the last five minutes working out how to yeah. the dragon, but... So I would need attack six that's physically resistant. I think that's yeah. the problem of getting enough attack and enough movement. Yeah, it's four movement to get because, there. Because, yeah, it's just if there was a blue die available, maybe. But I'm, it's because I'm already, I'm already using a black die as well. But it's um, rougher. Could I... There isn't a blue die available either. So I've got I've got will focus that can boost something by three, so it can give me the attack that I need or the movement that I need. But to be able to do that and the spell, I've had to play mana draw to be allowed to use that second die. So then, so the spell's being used. Yeah, I think I think I'm at the same point stuck. Of um, Emil, you want to step in? I we're we're thinking of uh, well, I was thinking of attacking the keep. Paul suggested maybe I'll be able to swoop in in front of him and attack. Well, I'm, I'm just yeah, I'm just rereading the rules on that um, to see whether what I've told you is correct because I thought that was the rules, but yeah. So go go ahead and play it that you can't end your movement on my space because I'm just reading what it says and it says if you enter a space with another player and you do not want or cannot continue your movement this turn it is automatically considered to be an attack on the other player but we're not playing with pvp combat yeah so therefore can you do it if pvp combat is turned off I thought I thought you could I mean it does say you are allowed to pass through spaces occupied by another player figure unless it's a keep owned by them. It is also allowed to enter a space with another player to reveal a new map tile or tiles and then to continue moving. So it, it doesn't say that you could do what I've just said you could do. You can so only maybe, like, keep moving. Yeah, maybe I'm misremembering a rule from when we played it before the game actually came out. I mean, it has been a long time since I played, so. I'm so... Just checking the forced withdrawal rules. You must end so your turn can... on a safe space. If you are not on a safe space, you must backtrack your move until you arrive at a safe space. There we go. Before you interact with something. It's basically if you try and assault yeah. a keep and you fail, you, you, you've got to go back. Yeah. Um, yeah. And a safe space is, de uh, is defined as one that is accessible under normal conditions. It is not 
an unoccupied fortified site or a keep owned by an opponent. And it does not contain another hero except for sites that allow more heroes, i.e. the portal or the conquered city. So yeah, that's, that's a good question. I'm curious to see what other people uh, say in the chat. Oh yeah, there is a wound for forced withdrawal. There is that. So yeah, I think you can. Yeah, so I think the math on this, and, and Emil, this might be the same as going for the keep as well. If I plant it, whatever I'm fighting, this spell has got to be a part of it. So that's my die from the source. Black die to boost it. Blue crystal from my stores. And then for getting over there, I've got stamina, which, you know, combined with a will focus, I can definitely get over there. I could I could use this to generate a blue crystal, which I could then use the upgraded stamina to get over to the dragon. But then how do I activate the bottom of Swift Bolt to use its attack? I can use this for three attack, four attack, but if I was attacking the dragon, its arm has been reduced by four, but it's physically resistant, so I would need six attack, so that's not enough. That gets me over there, but that's not enough attack. Uh, and that goes back. I never had that. I can use... Yeah, I can use Mana Draw to get an extra die, use Will Focus, and then I've definitely got enough attack, but I've used that for the extra die, and I've only got move two, so I can't really do anything else there. So I think maybe we just keep all of this in hand after going on about it for ages, and we just use some stamina to have a look around. Because may maybe, I'm dreading that it's going to be a lake, but... Yeah, let's just explore and see what's next to me, and okay. maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll keep moving if there's something great next to me. So you're playing stamina first for move two. So stamina is move two. And what city is it? And I've got myself city seven, the white city. The white city. So I'm next to a keep. Minister. Still. Oh, and that's uh, that's four movement to get in there. So it's a level three white city. I think I've got my uh, set that down to three. The Two white enemies. The, the hero click sounds. Where's my oh, my mage knight? It's four. Got my city. Okay, so I am next. I'm next to a keep now, but now I've got to get in it. We need another draconum <laughs> drawn as well. Oh yeah. All the way over there on a lake. That is an ice dragon. Okay. So I could use Swift Bolt maybe to get a white crystal and maybe that's going to help me do something like mana draw or something later. So I will draw a couple of cards that maybe are going to be attacky. It does seem like a shame to give up range four attack, but I don't think I can be standing here as well. Just with this same hand of cards trying to puzzle through it. Yeah. So I think I might just get use Swift Bolt to get a white crystal. I'm not using... Yeah, I'm, I'm not really using a, a die. I could have used Will Focus to move more, but I've, uh, I've revealed new information now. Yeah, I think get a White Crystal with uh, Swift Bolt, mm -hmm. and then hope that the two cards turn all of this around. You're done? I am. Right. So, at the start of my turn, I'm going to use the Sparing Power to take those three cards and put them into my hand. There you go. Now, with these cards in hand, I should be able to fight this dragon. The question is whether I actually want to move and provoke it, which I think I do, because before I was planning on staying on the monastery and then using the monastery to heal the wounds, but now I don't have any influence. I think I might move. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just move into the hills and... Yeah. Now, whew, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? <laughs> do we use steady tempo? I mean, I've got this. Oh, and I do have influence. I have threatened, but I kind of don't want to do that. So, yeah. I mean, I, I've got the 14 attack. 
to kill it. That that's fine. And I have I have heal. We we have the healing here, which I need to save for uh next turn. So it's like how how much how much movement do I actually have? I've got the steady tempo. So that could be two. The sparing power can go now. We don't need that. Uh, so that's going to be to move. Let's work out the attack. It's one, two, three, seven. Um, uh, seven, 14. Concentration with improvisation, discarding threaten is 14. So there's the 14 attack. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 14. Yeah, so there's the 14 attack. There's the two move. I need one more move. So am I actually going to use mana draw sideways? But I need the green mana next time. That's the thing. So I need, I need to save the mana draw. Yeah, the problem is I'm not going to have a green mana next time. Um... Yeah, I mean, the other option is that I use mana draw, which allows me to use the red and save the crystal. But I mean, you know, crystals are there to be spent. Oh, Blodger is here. Uh, you may forbid players attacking each other if a player ends their movement on a space with another player's figure. Forced withdrawal rule applies. Yep, I thought so. Um, uh, Nomi's asking what the crystals are on the experience track. So this isn't in the rule book, but when you're playing the Blitz Conquest scenario, it basically says that you start on one fame and every time you gain a level, you gain one fame. So what we do is we just put crystals on here like this uh, and that that then represents that you just skip those uh, skip those steps. Uh, so yeah, everybody say hello to Vladja who's joined in the chat. Thank you for joining in. And hello. I'm just trying to work out. I'm trying how... my best, I promise. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to work out how... I, well, I've, I've defeated that. It's whether I want to... Use mana draw sideways for one movement and use the crystal. Yes, I do. So that's what I'm going to do. Steady tempo and mana draw for move three. I move into the hills, which provokes the dragon, which attacks me for nine, which I do not block, and I take three wounds. One, two, three. Then I use the Uton crossbowman, uh, a red crystal on rage, green mana from the source on concentration with all of this stuff, for 14. Steady Tempo goes to the bottom of my deck. Those cards go to my discard pile. Uh, the dragon is dead. There you go. So I gain two reputation for defeating a Draconum, and I gain eight fame, which is one, two, three, four, five, ding, six, seven, eight. I'm on 18 fame. I have three wounds in hand. The green mana is being re-rolled and is cocked gold which is depleted um and yeah i think that's it i think that's my go i'm gonna level up while it's your turn so hey Doug. so i've not drawn cards that help me out but well they might not in the way that i was thinking but that's what mage knight's about right we've got to think our way around this mm-hmm so I don't need much in the way of healing at the moment, so I could just basically replace Tranquility with another card, like I think I did last turn. I could get a green crystal and be able to draw two cards, but will focus. Oh, going to be so useful in the future, but I haven't got any cards right now that will focus could boost. There's always mana draw. I do have this now, so I could get myself, say, two green tokens if I wanted to do Tranquility, and then hope that I draw a card that Will Focus could you could boost, like some movement to get into one of the keeps, like um, some attack for once I get there. I've got Crystal Mastery as well, which is quite nice. I would have to spend a crystal of my own to use it, but if I spent these red crystals or any other crystals that I might gain, say from Will Focus, they would go back to my Imagery rather than being spent. Quite swish. So em Emil advises just draw the one card. 
What about that boost, though? Mana draw. And then if I did Crystal Mastery, I would get all of this stuff back. I would get, say, the white that I had spent on Mana Draw to get two green tokens mm -hmm. back at the end of the turn. So I would I would be in... I would lose the... Would I, would I keep the blue as well? That I spent on Crystal Mastery? I suppose it's a crystal I've spent this turn. It is a crystal that you spent this turn, yeah. So that seems like... There is not a green die, unfortunately, but that leaves me open to use a black die for your man. Um, lethal Chill. But I would not have a blue mana then to use Lethal Chill. This, uh, this blue crystal is for Lethal Chill. But I could try and draw movement to gear myself up to be ready. I would still have this blue next time. There's probably going to be one black die still out there. I think let's just draw one card with Tranquility. Let's pop all these back in the inventory. Not the greens because they weren't mine. Let's just see what comes up. Just playing it to draw one card. Swiftness. Not the all the move that I wanted. I could get a ton of ranged attack now with Will Focus and Swiftness. I can move... If I had a red card, it would be brilliant. I could play it sideways, pop a mana on it. That's yep. move four right there. But I haven't. I can, again, use... Oh, I could I could play, say, mana draw sideways. And then that's the four movement. I do have a white crystal. It's... Uh... It's breaking my heart a little bit seeing all of these crystals go away, though. When yep. Crystal Mastery is sitting there <laughs> trying to keep them all in front of me. But I could... I could no, if I'm moving there, I'm uh, provoking them, aren't I? If I you can't move, just well. hang... I can't just... If I go into the keep, I can't just hang about there whistling no, and looking I'm, innocent I'm afraid and attack not. them next turn. Yeah, movement onto the keep is an assault. I think we've got to go. So, how are we going to do it? Are we going to do it with a mana draw? Uh, it's Wasteland as well, so it's going to cost you four movement to get on there. I could get a couple of blue tokens, and then... No, oh, that, that isn't going to help me. Stop thinking about silly things. But how, am I, how am I going to get my will focus in to do a big attack? Lethal Chill, definitely. That's probably going to be the die. That's on there. How we get in there, though? I don't think Swiftness is going to have anything to do with it. But I don't have a green. Maybe I want to do Crystal Mastery for its top ability to duplicate a crystal. Duplicate the white crystal first. Why would I want to do that? I need a green crystal for Will Focus, and there just isn't green. Yeah, I need a green as well on my turn. Mana draw is going to be no good for... Uh, use a second die, because I don't need a second die. So it would be... Good for its second ability. I could get two green tokens, one would be a complete waste. But I would then have Will Focus ranged... Six attack, and then but I, I need the movement there, don't I? Mm -hmm. The manager is going to have to be movement, and then we're just going to have to play it by ear what I do with the rest of the things. Manager for a, for green tokens, yeah. But then I need to I need if I use manager to get the green tokens, I've then got to get there with four movement. And I can only really get there if I match colours, which I don't think I can do. Otherwise, I think the mana draw has got to be sacrificed to just move there with the white crystal because of my... Universal power. Universal power. So that's four movement. Four movement, which gets me onto the quicksand. <laughs> the keeps, yeah. I think I'm doing it. Have to, because yeah, there's there's no other way of doing it, right? 
How do I get the green? I can't. I can double up a crystal that I've already got. I might have to to get re-attack from Swiftness, because I've already played something sideways boosted. I can't do that mm -hmm. again this turn. Uh, it's another. T it can't be another turn where it's like it's so close <laughs> to getting what I needed. Well, you don't know I what's think. in the keep. That's the thing. No, yeah, that's the problem. I, th I think yeah. If if I use Crystal Mastery, not for its absolutely beautiful ability, but for its slightly less beautiful ability of just duplicate a crystal. Yeah. Let's use that and duplicate a white crystal. Okay. So I would still have the option of ranged attacking. Re, I don't think that's going to help me. That has to be used to move, but I still have a white crystal spare. At least, if it all goes wrong, Chill has just stopped them attacking. Yes. If it all goes wrong. So, play manager or sideways with a crystal, You're with my universal power, that I'll get out of the way. I have found myself. Let's, uh, well, you lose another it. reputation. For a start. Oh yeah. So <laughs> what have you found? Switch to the map. We found what are you called? Crossbowmen. It's a Mutant Crossbowmen, you're, is it? Or... You're swift. Yeah. Oh, it's the one that I actually had on there. So I need twice as much block and they're fortified, yeah. aren't they? Everyone in these is Yeah, everything's fortified. So yeah, you need eight block because they're swift, but if you don't block it, it's only four damage, which for you. So is I can stop weeks. them attacking anyway. Oh, so I it this is this is great then, isn't it? I they're not resistant to anything. They are not resistant. It's, it's to only anything. it's only attacking something in a keep, I guess, but it's something. So I've moved there. I've got now blue token, black. They're not attacking, and they've got minus four armor to a minimum of one. So they've got mm -hmm. one armor. One armor. And I just play swiftness. Uh, you should probably yep. see me doing all this. Just play swiftness so, sideways. So lethal one chill. attack. And uh, yeah, they are. Done for. Done for. You get so that three is fame. Putting you three up to fame. 20. And I pop a shield. And we and put a shield, a shield on the thing. Your hand I'll size some... is now increased by one I'll as long as you are in or adjacent to one of your keeps. And I've got some crystals left. That's that's uh, that's okay, yeah. I think. Do you want to know what yeah, else that's... happens? Oh, no. We reveal the city. Good. Oh. Okay, so what, cities are revealed if you are adjacent to them, whether it's day or night. Okay. Okay, so we do reveal the two units in the city. If you want to reveal them and tell me what they are. Are they too white? They're too white. Oh, yeah, it's on, it's on the hero clicks, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, they are, naming them, uh, Ultim Guardsmen and Ultim Mages. <laughs> oh, <laughs> two people in there. There's yeah. a lot of symbols on these things. There is, yeah. That's, that's never good. I, th I think the more symbols, the easier it is. Is that how this game yeah. works? <laughs> I don't think so. And because they're in the White City, they've got an extra one armor each. Could be worse. Oh. Could be worse. Right. Well, there we go. They are the people guarding the White City. Okay. Okay, it's over to you, Paul. Is it over to me? Like that was a lot of cards for fighting a keep. Yeah, it was a huge amount. But you've got the keep. That's yours. That's points at the end of the game as well. Um, and yeah, we now know what's in that city. So, my go. Um, this is my hand full of wounds. Did you use any mana from the source? I used a black, which um, I will re-roll into green. a red. Oh, red, red, so black. The source is three red and black. It's yep. very angry is the source. <laughs> Well, I've no way of getting green, so I'm literally just going to play uh, Tranquility to heal one, and then I'm going to play Refreshing Walk to move two and heal one. But I can't even move the two. Oh, no, I could. I could have moved back to the monastery. So let's do that. Let's move two back to the monastery and heal one. There you go. I think that is my turn done. Yeah. Uh, did I want to move back to the monastery? No, actually, I don't want to move back to the monastery. I'm going to stay where I am and just, just play that for uh, a heal one. So I'm now drawing four cards, which are the last four cards in my deck. Uh-oh. And my go is done. My reputation is plus two. 
So mm-hmm. you're right. I, I could have moved back to the monastery and then interacted and healed the last wound. Oh, there's a point. But I've only got four cards in my hand, uh, in my deck. So I'm okay. I'm, I'm just going to keep the wound in hand and I'll stay where I am because I know one of these is steady tempo. Um, oh, when I leveled up, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I took Blood Ritual from the Advanced Action deck. Okay. And you very good, is... Mark. Yes, nobody's playing Arathea because she was tied up. Very good. <laughs> yes. The new card is Pathfinding. Pathfinding. So Vlaja has confirmed that the, the, the query that we had earlier on isn't completely covered by the rules. But I think what I said is correct. He said, if you provoke enemies by movement on another player space, you have to fight the provoked enemies and then force withdrawal. So, okay. yeah, the, the situation we were describing earlier can happen. You are allowed to move onto my space, interact with it, and then at the end of your turn, you are forced to withdraw back. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, and I remember playing the game before it came out and that exact same thing happened with the tutorial scenario with the starting village. I played it four player uh, and somebody went to the village and then another player went, well, does that mean I can't go to the village? And it was like, no, you can, but then you are forced to withdraw afterwards. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, We're done, you'll go. Okay, I've got... Look at my hand. A lot of stuff I could have done with earlier, to be honest. But... You're going to go for the city? Oh, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of position for that. If uh, if I had my uh, spell still, if I, had, if I had the hand that I had before and I was already in the city, mm-hmm. business would be booming. But all of that's been spent. Quite a little keep. But now that keep's uh, been taken, I've got an extra card in my hand. So I basically... Yeah, your I hands can go is places now at the moment, isn't it? I can go places. I can influence like crazy, which I'm going to need because I'm not that well liked. Uh, but yeah, so I, I could get myself a new unit since I'm here at the keep. They like me. Yeah, there's plenty of units to recruit at the keep because they'd better like me. Utum swordsman, Utum guardsman. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I can. So what could I get right here? I've got minus one. But You've I got could minus myself, one reputation, yeah. I could get myself a, a nice amount of influence. I could. What have we got in the... Did, did you have one from the source? I did not. It's still three red and a black. Okay, okay so I could just... The red on threaten. That would be influence five. Reputation minus one again, but hey, fine about that. I was thinking disband <laughs> the herbalist. I, I am thinking disband the herbalist. What Ooh. have they done for me? They've done their job. Yeah, but why do you need to? You've got two markers. I could I could get myself the swordsman and guardsman possibly. You can get two you you've got eleven influence. Well twelve. If if I can get eleven. Okay. Oh yeah, twelve because I'm on minus one. Let's yeah. see. I can get I can get five from threaten. Mm-hmm. I've got a crystal, so I could do four from promise, so that would be <laughs> nine. And then Or I could um I haven't got a green to do will focus, unfortunately. That would be perfect to boost it by uh, three. So that would be nine, and then play something sideways. Perhaps. What am I? Nine, and I need twelve. So I only need three, so it doesn't have to match. I could use, say, uh, March sideways with uh, one of my red crystals, and that's twelve right there. But then I've got all of these people ready, and uh, maybe only one more turn. Maybe a couple. Uh, and so I might have to jump down those monster pits. That's that's a that's a double fight, isn't it? Down those monster pits. It's a lair. Oh, a lair. Yeah. So it's two monsters, I believe. Spawning grounds. Spawning grounds, that's it. Two brown enemy tokens. And uh, if you defeat them both, you get a shield token, an artifact, and three random mana crystals. Yep. Rage with a red crystal for plus four. I don't think I need plus four, though. Because I've got five from Threaten, four from Promises, nine, and then three sideways with March is twelve. And that's all I need. Because it's eleven to recruit 
both of these dudes. And I've got my minus one uh, for being naughty. So that would be the 12 I'd need to recruit these. But then, that for recruiting these, I've got to go and fight something next turn, right? Like, we're not wasting an opportunity to fight if I'm spending all of this influence and crystals and business on these two. I think I'm going to go for that. The herbalists have done me well. I think I'll spend those three things. Will focus. Been in my hand the entire round, I think. But, yeah, sorry, herbalists. I'll see you later. Your, your new home is this keep. Your, your, your monastery's been burnt down, but uh, <laughs> come come live in this smouldering keep. Okay. And you've, you've managed to get 12 influence. Got 12 influence. My reputation goes down again. Another one. So it's now on minus two. Yeah, and you get the guardsman and the swordsman. I get the guardsman and the swordsman, and I have spent a couple of crystals. I've used a red from the source, mm -hmm. and that's going to turn into a blue. Yeah, don't turn into a green when it's, uh, when it's yeah. false. Turn I into a green for now. me. Turn into a green for me, now. please. Uh, and that, I think, is it. Okay, we're geared right. up for fighting now. Let's, let's get on it next turn. Okay, so this may be my last go. Um, because I have no cards in my deck, so I could call end of day now if I wanted to. I do not want to. Uh, but I'm glad you drew that blue, because that is move four. That actually gets me somewhere. Now, do I want to go attacking a keep? Or do we want to go down the monster den? The problem is, the only thing I have left is a ranged attack three. That is, that is all I've got. So... Yeah, ranged attack three with attack two. I could go down the monster den and fight one of the brown monsters. Now, what are we likely to... Uh, if it's that... Uh, yeah, I could, if it's that, I couldn't. If it's that, no. Yeah. So, yeah, that's not going to work. I don't have enough cards to do that. Um, so the question is, is there anything I can actually do that's any use? Yes, there is. And that is to move and reveal the second city so that I can start preparing for the assault on that second city. Uh, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to use a blue crystal, uh, sorry, a blue mana from the supply, from the source, to play steady tempo, move four. Uh, I will move three of it onto the green crystal hills space i will then play swiftness for another move two uh, i will explore so it's the final tile what have we got is it red green or blue oh it is red it's the red city okay so that is the red level three city click to click which has a brown and a white, I think. So one brown and one white, which is face down for the moment. Everything in there is brutal. That is the ability of the Red City. We also have two Draconum and a Ruins. So uh, it's off the map. I'm going to have to move. Oh, it's actually off, off. <laughs> yeah, I've actually gone off my camera. So I'm going to have to turn it round a bit. In fact, we don't need this anymore. There we go. We can just about get it on. Just in case one of us runs back to the portal. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we'll be doing that. Right. What are the dragons that we've got? Oh. We've got... The west one first. So, in the west we've got a high dragon. Yeah. And, and then... The desert. It's another fire dragon. Another fire dragon. Oh, I eat those for breakfast. There we go. Right. Okay. So two dragons, ruins. I've got one movement point left. I think I might be ending my turn here. Although I could go onto the ruins and that would reveal what it is, although that's a swamp. That's another four movement points needed. I don't have four movement points. Do I want to play the blood ritual to take a wound and gain a red crystal? I don't think I do. 
Nope. No, nope, I'm going to say done. The swiftness is discarded. Uh, my steady tempo goes on top of my deck. The blue mana gets re-rolled and it is green. And then I draw a card, which is steady tempo. You'll go. Okay, here we go. I, I'm down to all of my cards as well. But this is no time for declaring end of round. We've got to go in and do something. Did, did the source change? The source is red, red, black, green, gold. Okay. So that, I've got to... Okay. To get into the monster pits, I've got to move four again. It's four. It's more wasteland. Which... Yeah, I could just I could just play. I've got a red crystal that I'm probably going to want to use on one of the rages to do some attacking, whatever I'm finding there. I've got some attack from the swordsman. There's six guardsman two, or the block and stop swiftness. Am I going to get? Because I think the only way to get four movements, unless I play, say I've got Diplomacy here. Influence two and you can use Influence as block, so that's basically a two block card. Because mm -hmm. I've spent all my influence previously. I could play it sideways with a crystal, but that's just three movement. Or <laughs> the great big waste is uh, use Will Focus to get plus three. So I've got seven movement. Seven movement. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to assault the city. I mean, I, I, I'm just, I'm going to hang around here. They're going to see me lurking. But <laughs> I'm thinking of diving into the spawning grounds. Uh -huh. But that is two brown enemies. It is. And uh, we don't know what's what kind of tricks they're pulling. I would be going in there with two... Rage cards and you've and got your diplomacy units. and my units. You can totally use your units against um, spawning grounds because it's not on the ground. That's why I'm feeling I've got to go and fight something. Mm -hmm. I think the only way of getting there is to use will focus on the stamina. For Unfortunately, yeah. that does give me seven movement, but it's the only way I'm getting more than two movement right. or more than three movement. Don't worry about wounds. What if I get five though? We've got to uh, worry about wounds then. That is true. Yep. It's the end of the round. Don't I lose, though, if I get five wounds? Uh, you get knocked out. Okay. It's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it's bad, but it's it's less bad because it's the end of the round. Yeah. So your wounds will then all get shuffled into your deck and will, yeah, gradually come out. Whoa. Oh, one of my monitors went off. <laughs> I wonder why all of the windows just started. Jumping around my screen. There's one monitor. It's, uh, it's fussy about being on for too long. Advice in the chat is that you should take the blue mana token from Will Focus and not use the mana die. Save it for the rage. The blue token. Because you can use Will Focus to, take, to, to gain a blue mana token. Oh, yeah. I, ha I have got... Um... Okay. So rather so, than use... Oh, so then I could boost both... Ra I get you. So then I could boost both rages. Yes. Okay. Good idea, chat. Thanks. Uh, so will focus would get me... Yeah, blue token, blue which token. I would use on... <clears throat> which I would use on... Stamina that to four, four. Move four. That move you want. Jump into these spawning grounds. Now, the important rule about the spawning grounds is that it's an adventure site. So it is a safe space. Moving onto it is safe to do so. But as an action, you can choose to attack the monsters. So a lot of people don't realize that those adventure sites are actually safe spaces and that um, doing something is optional on there. So I don't... There we go. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what the ruins are. The keep I can probably beat, but, well, it's going to be three fame again. 
We've got to go for glory, right? Mm -hmm. We've got to we've got to attack. And I haven't got any more movement. I've just okay. spent all of my yep. movements. I'm just saying <laughs> it is optional. This. I'm not saying yeah. you, you wouldn't do it, but it is optional. So <laughs> give me one last chance to back out because it's such a terrible idea. I'm I'm the Microsoft. Are you sure? So do I see both of them at once? You see both of them at once. Draw two go. brown enemy tokens and fight them. So what have you drawn? So I've got... Uh, the werewolf and the big worm thing. Yes. Oh, that's their names. The uh, crypt worm. That's it. Is the mouthy devil. So fortified... I'm, I haven't got a ranged attacks anyway. So swiftness. I do have uh, guardsmen that block swiftness. Mm-hmm. Which would be good. Swiftness is double the block. Yeah. That would be block four. So I could just block them. I can basically get attack two. Attack eight. That's not enough as it is. I mean, you've got to block that's... one of them because otherwise that's five damage. Yeah. Five wounds. So. Oh no, because remember, you can actually put damage onto your units. Oh yeah. Don't forget about that. You can wound units. So, I think it makes sense to block with the guardsmen, since they will stop the swiftness. Uh, well, it counts twice against an attack with swiftness. So that's actually block eight, but you need block 14 against the wolves. Oh, right. Them. Does it not lose swiftness, though? No. That would count. It just says count against twice the rest of it. against an attack with swiftness. Oh. Well, that's what my card says. Mine says uh, an enemy block this yeah. way loses swiftness. That's the old wording. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so the new wording is block four counts twice against an attack with swiftness. I'd forgotten that they'd updated the uh, the wording on the cards between between editions. Okay, so. Dick, so I need six more attack, which I can get from the swordsman, and then I can wound them. As well, can't I? But yeah. then... I can't uh, kill them both, can I? You're going to need 11 attack to kill them both. That is... 8, 9. So we're not going to be able to block... The Swiftness dude. Mm -hmm. With that being like that, then. I can just block the heads straight away, but then that w that unit becomes wounded from doing that. Yeah. From the block six. Yeah. But then I would be able to attack two. Eight is ten. Sideways is eleven. That's the only way I can kill them, I think. And I would... But that is like... Oh, so it doesn't do double damage. It's just I would need double block. Correct. So, so it's only seven damage, and I can seven assign damage, one of them to the guardsman. Is, uh, three you could, wounds. It's three wounds if you take it all yourself, yeah. So they get wounded for doing that um, that action. Mm -hmm. I will wound the others. And so that means I take two wounds. Personally. So what do, that, have you blocked any of them? So I blocked him with the swordsman. Block six, but he becomes wounded. Right, yep. And then I've used uh, his attack two. Wow, and then... hang, hang on. So the first thing is you've got to block them. Okay. So I block him for six, and then yep. I'm not blocking him. Right, so you now take seven damage. So I would have to take the wounds myself if I want to use if them to attack. If you wanted to use the guard, the, the, the guardsmen to attack, okay, yes. Okay, which I'm going to have to because I need there to attack. Okay. So right. I will take now, the three wounds myself. Yeah, now you can do the 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, just, 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 just squeaked enough. it. Finally, after all these turns of being just like a little bit short, we've taken some wounds for it. Wow. But I think it's going to be worth it. Because that is 10 fame from these guys. That's a huge boost. Which levels me up. I should Levels stop flicking through five. these cards and look at the same one every time. I get a 
artifact. Do, is it just top card of the deck? Uh, it's draw two, choose one, put the other to the bottom. Choose one. Okie doke. And roll a mana die three times. I'll uh, get an unused die here. Yeah. I get black, which is a plus which one is fame, a fame, rather than a... You're on 32 fame. ...token. And white, which is a white crystal. Yeah. And it's three, isn't it? And black again. It's another fame. fame. You're on 33 fame. Wow. So, so not... Not as good for the crystals, but I'm, and, I'm Dr. Crystals. Yeah, we can, and we put we can... another token on that space. You killed both of those monsters. Wow. Okay, that went really well. Yeah, it did. Well, I drew the two enemies this time that I could just about beat. Yeah. So that's all spent. Red die, reroll, and it becomes another red die. Another red die. So what was so that I've, that you I've got... used? Uh, I used a red, so I've got black, oh, so red, red, green still. Black, red, red, green. Yeah, okay. And then that is uh, that, that is everything. Well, I've got I've got cards in my hand, I suppose. Yeah. I've got three wounds. Okay. Right, my go? Yes. I am going to play Blood Ritual. I'm going to take a wound. I'm going to gain a red crystal to my inventory and a blue mana token. I then use the blue mana token to play Steady Tempo. For four movement, I then play Determination sideways for five movement, and I move onto this ruins here. So when you move onto a ruins at night, it reveals the ruins tile. So Tom, please tell me what ruins we have. Ruins is... Nope, oh, not that one. It is... Uh, it's got a, got a dungeon, a wizard's tower, a purple card, and then a crystal of each colour. Shall I show you? That one. Got it. Yeah. That's the fella. So if I fight oh, a brown enemy and a purple enemy, I get a spell and one of each crystal. Well, I'm not. I'm certainly not going to do that because I currently have two wounds in hand, and that's that's all I have. So we are we are all done. I'm going to put my steady tempo back on top of my deck and draw it again. Um, and it's your go. Well, I think I've got to declare end of the world if you have no cards in hand and no cards in your deck you because, must declare uh, end of round yeah i would have my um artifact i guess i'm still looking at but it's uh e either one is just what what is throw away throw away is um trash remove okay. from game so artifacts are worth points as well though aren't they yes because i i have been offered a potential get out of jail free if I keep the round going, that I could throw away the artifact and... Oh, it's wounds you received this turn, so no, it's not a get out of jail free okay. card. For the future, maybe. For the future. Uh, so, so yeah, I am I am just going to be declaring end of round. Yeah, I'm so I've got one more turn. Looking at these, but uh, it's not going to make a difference to the game. If if I want to, to do anything, and I think I might, because there's a rule which I'm going to reread, and this is exploring when the stack is empty. And I want to make sure I get this right. So, um, where is it? Movement. Here we go. Exploring. Uh, during movement, you can reveal a new map tile. Uh, da, 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 da. If there are no tiles left in the map tile deck, when a player attempts to explore, they may use a random countryside tile removed from the game during setup. So oh, that's no. what I'm going to do. I, I have two movement, so I might as well I might as well do it. I might as well play my steady tempo for two movement, and we actually get a random countryside to tile up there. <laughs> Bear with me. Let me grab the game box. Yeah. <laughs> Tom's taking these out. Let's let's get that out of the room. You're not going to need that. No, you don't need that. <laughs> Uh, countryside tile. Yeah. That's why I'm shuffling mine. You found yourself. Oh, you need three adjacent tiles to explore when the stack is empty. Okay, thank you. I can't do that. Sorry, Tom, I've wasted your time. <sighs> I, should, I should have read more. Uh, it's in small letters. The explored uh, tiles explored this way can only be placed such that they are adjacent to at least three other tiles to fill up holes. Okay, so thank you very much for the chat. I can't do that. So I, I'm going to do nothing. So that is the end of the round.
Whew, now that was a long round. I thought we'd be done with that by nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah. But no. Oh, there was some... There was some, like... Painful, but in a good way. There painful was. turns. So I'm going to remove learning and flame wall. Yep. We and we get... Uh, Firebolt is your action. Yep. Tremor is uh, your spell. Tremor is the spell. Units go... Units go, and this time, because a, a, a city's been found, or a quartile's been found, um, we do alternate. Was it Firebolt, did you say? Firebolt, yeah. action, yeah. tremor is the spell. Uh, what, what do we do, because we found a... Because we have um, discovered a quartile, it isn't just basic units anymore. Uh, regular units. It is now alternating. Okay. So if, um, yeah, deal unit cards, if no core tile has been revealed, it's regular ones. If at least one core tile has been revealed, it's alternate, elite, and then regular. So okay, because so... we need five, it will be three elites and two regulars. Okie doke. And we've and got... question uh, to answer in the chat. Tom rolled three dice and got two black and a white. So he actually gained two extra fame for the three crystals that he got from the spawning ground. So we've got... Does the monastery I burned produce a card? You didn't burn a monastery, did you? Oh, no, I tried and I failed. You tried. I? Tried and failed. So two actions again. Two actions again. Which... And lots of units. Okay, so units. Uh, they're all different, unfortunately, for okay. my zoom in. Uh, so we've got elite, fire mages, amatep freezers, and catapults. So fire mages, catapults, and amateur freezers. Okay. Uh, normal units, we've got northern monks and peasants. Northern monks and peasants. Yep. And then for actions in the offer, we've got training and pure magic. Training and magic de pure. Yeah, got it. In fact, I can put them on there because <laughs> we're not going to go back there. Okay, right. That's that done. Uh, units refresh. Uh, skills refresh. I shuffle all of my deck together. I have two wounds still in there. I get to choose tactics first because I'm in second place again, and I get another Jaffa cake. Hmm. Right. So just before we carry on, uh, Tom, you need to roll the source and let me know. Oh, source is going to be... What have we got? We've got two greens, a gold, a red, and a white. Okay. And then, because it is daytime, both of the ruins flip over. Are we? Oh dear! I'm just oh, gonna go and to the keep as well, because you're next to the keep. I'm just going to go to a big table shot rather than zooming in on the map anymore. Okay. <laughs> it's massive. Uh, so the ruins by me is uh, it's got an orc and a dragon, and the reward is an artifact and a card. Yep, got it. The keep is uh, angry swords. And shield men, swordsmen. Uh, the relic at the tippy top is two orcs for four crystals. That's an easy one, that. They're right, right at the back of the map. Yeah. <laughs> On the last tile revealed. And the city isn't revealed yet. Okay, oh, and I'm still. To reveal. Um, yeah, I'm still next to my special keep as well. You are. So your hand size is. Seven? Still an extra plus one. Seven? I've uh, I've leveled up. Oh, you level another five. Unit thing. Wow. I'm so far behind on the fame. I don't think I've gotten to this level for about seven years. So yeah, one thing before we continue, because we are now halfway through the game. I just wanted to. Uh, both myself and Tom, uh, we're only able to produce the content that we create thanks to the support of our Patreon campaigns. So yeah, both of us have our have Patreon campaigns. 
Um, mine is patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. And Tom, yours is? Patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. Yep. So if you enjoy the content that either one or both of us make, uh, please consider supporting us um, because we've both had to take some time off our paid work this afternoon in setting all of this up and doing the preparation, um, which is what the Patreon campaign funds. So yeah, huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and for Tom's Patreon supporters as well. Yes, thank you, everybody. There you go. Right, five cards. And now let's have a look at those... Juicy Tic Tacs. What have I done with the day tactics? I put them somewhere. There they are. Right. Okay. Which of these do I want? I'm not in any wish to go first. I probably want to try and do these ruins where I am, if possible. Then again, there's a dragon right next to me. Is that going to help me? I don't know whether it is. Now, I could actually sneak around the back. I could do all of these ruins and just leave the city for later. Um, so, how are we doing? With, oh, I've got my steady tempo again. I'm not complaining. It's great, but... <laughs> I do want some attack cards. And I need to be a recruiting. That's the problem. I have nowhere around here that I can really recruit. So, yeah, so we, we could put a countryside tile here. This is where it's allowed to go. It is literally just to fill the gaps or here because it's surrounded by three. Um, do I want to rethink? I might rethink. Oh, we've got that. We've got that. Oh, we could do some fancy stuff here. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's quite a bit of ranged attack. I've got red crystals for that. Yeah, I think I am going to take card number two. I am going to take rethink. Oh, OK. So let's see. Got a lot of cards. I... I could just throw away the injured units and recruit someone else. <laughs> no wonder your reputation is low. You're really heartless. The terrible man. He gets them, he uses them, he discards yeah, the, them. Those freezers are right on a heap, aren't they? The the freezers or the catapults. And catapults at this at this late Yeah, siege attack. Uh, city stage. Could be fantastic, especially yeah. making it um, spending some mana and making it fire or ice attack. Uh -huh. This is Although... really interesting because of where I am. I'm now not next to anywhere that can recruit, whereas you're down here with a keep, monastery, you know. <laughs> yeah. I've gone too far actually... up north. <laughs> right. What should I take then? I don't think I'm particularly about being first mm -hmm. which means the world is my oyster you can take number six i could have another mana to. die i could now planning is quite nice especially with especially with a nice hand limit it is i'm probably gonna have two cards in my hand yeah to keep having eight on here uh great start just draw two more cards could help me out but i think i've i think i've got the cards i need to influence pretty nicely if I just want to get I probably don't want to replace the guardsman although you know there are So are they both wounded here. at the moment? Uh, just the uh swordsman okay, at the so moment the are... they're... I they're had both to leave ready. I had to leave the guardsman unharmed. Oh I've got a space as well. I don't have to get rid of the guardsman oh, yeah, even space. if I've managed to recruit two things somehow. Yep. Cuz what could I get right now if if I've got white thingies there's a red die in the if that was about, I could get influence. What? Four, nine, twelve? But then it's minus two because of my things. I, I, I doubt I could recruit two level three things. Maybe if I drew two cards, I could get some fancy units. Mm -hmm. 
I I'm leaning towards great start. I think great start okay. is what I'm going to have. So you get two extra cards. Let's have two more cards. And we do not need the day tactics cards anymore. Right. So I'm going to go first. These are my five cards, and unfortunately, my rethink drew me into a load of influence cards, <laughs> which is not what we wanted at all. So I'm not going to move. And yeah, as my action, I am going to explore the ruins. So if you can draw me a brown and a purple token and let me know what I get. You have found yourself. Where can I zoom into this? Alex. You have found yourself. A purple? Yeah. A hag? A, a monk? Oh, a monk. A monk. That is a scary looking monk. Yeah. And a werewolf? Yeah. It's the other werewolf. Yes. The other werewolf. There's two of them in the game. Okay. So this is what we have found. Okay. Yeah, it is a scary looking monk, isn't it? It's got poison. So, I don't have diplomacy, otherwise that would have been great because I could use my 10 influence and just <laughs> and just block them. Um, thankfully, I do have some ranged attacks. So, that's good. That means I can kill one of them with ranged attack. Um, so, I use the white mana from the source with swiftness plus the Uten Crossbowman, so that's ranged attack 5. Now, I do have this skill that I gained earlier, um, but I don't think it's actually going to be useful. Is Deadly Aim. Once per turn, add one to a card that provides any type of attack in the ranged and siege attack phase. Well, I don't need that. Or add two to a card that provides any type of attack, including sideways in the attack phase, which is what, which is what I'll need. So... Uh, one of them is dead. It's which one do I kill? Do I kill the one that's going to deal me three wounds or do I kill the one that's going to deal me two wounds plus two in my discard pile? Which is four in total. Uh, or do we wound the crossbowman? Oh, I could block. Can I actually block it? No, I can't, I can't block it if I want to kill it. So I'm, I'm going to kill... Uh, with my ranged attack 5, I'm going to kill the monks. So the monks are deaded. I'll come to that later on. Uh, then I'm going to take the 7 damage from this, but I'm actually going to wound the crossbowman. Yeah, so we're going to wound the crossbowman. And we're going to take one wound myself. Okay, and then I'm going to use, because uh, I've already used a mana from the source, so I use a red crystal with rage for attack 4. And my skill, which is deadly aim to make it attack six, which kills the werewolf. Right, so that's more like it. Uh, then I'm going to flip over this skill to gain myself a white crystal and heal one. And then I gain nine fame, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, putting me on 28, which is a level up. I can have loads more units. Uh, I'm going to re-roll the mana die. So it was white. It is now red. Um, that is my go done apart from I need to get the rewards, which is one of each crystal and a spell. So I'll have a think about what spell I'm taking while you take your turn. I'll switch the camera over to you. There you go. Okay. Right. So one I've got, I think, all of my movement right now. I don't think there's anywhere particularly far away I want to run, though. The the Draconis is in an unfortunate position, but, yeah, it's not getting uh, gotten to. Unless I go all the way around and go through the forest and stuff, which isn't too bad, I suppose. I've had some fire attack, though, which... You know, there's fire mages, fire attack six. That's, uh, that's one away from just taking out that ice dragon. A siege fire attack five, and if I got some more attack from somewhere else, that could be pretty nice. I go to the monastery and get some skills, some training, some pure magic. And then what mana you pay, you get some 
different abilities. I've got a lot I could do. I've got mana draw, so I could boost a load of these. I think I could, if I use mana draw, to get some red tokens. I would have to discard another card, but I could get myself influence... Nine. Influence 13. Minus nice. two. I don't think I could recruit two things with that, though. If it was two things, one of them would be peasants, which can't be recruited, Eki. So I could for sure get something like the catapults as my third unit and then try and heal someone else later. I could just head over to the monastery, recruit the fire mages, and heal my uh, unit. How much uh, influence is... It's only two influence for a healing. Two influence for healing at a monastery, three influence for healing at a village. So I could... So I could recruit the fire mages. So it'd be four movement to get to the monastery. Don't forget your minus two rep. Yeah, I would have to spend... I'd, I'd need 13, so I would get 5, 10... Go back to my cards. I'd get 5, 10... I'd get 14 from those. I'd have to discard wow. a card. I'd have to use mana draw to get that, though. Yeah. And I'd have to discard a card to play... Uh, what do you call it? 14. Improvisation. And, 14 then I would, influence. and then I would have to use promise to get that 14. Yeah. I would have to use both of my marches to get there to the monastery. So that's a lot of cards, mm -hmm. but that is a lot of recruiting. And my fellas would be ready to go to just jump in that deep. Maybe this is all of my movement though, and so I've got my jump though, haven't I? So I could you do? I could jump over to that ruins or something and fight a dragon with all of those units. Try and build up some crystals or something. I like the idea of that. And no one is screaming at me in the chat saying that all of that waffle has been a terrible idea, so let's do it. So it's what gonna be doing? basically my entire hand is uh I'm gonna be away from the keep which I hate, but we'll we'll come back. You're not flying so, then to the monastery. Oh I could, couldn't I? You could just hang fly. on to the cards. Yeah. Just if I wanna come back here. It's harder to get oh, I see what you mean, of the back terrain. on the swamp. Whereas yeah. just moving on these is just two each. So I uh -huh. think I will I'll use my two marches just because I'm spending all sorts of dice and things on my other stuff. So two marches gets me over there to the monastery. To the monastery, yep. And then it's gonna be mana draw with a die, with the white die from the source. White I don't have a white die in the source. Oh. It's have to be with my white. There's a gold. Oh yeah, gold. So you use Maybe the gold. Gold is white, yeah. Yeah, so gold, and I'll use that to get two red tokens. Mm-hmm. Which get which I will use on threat and, and improvisation. Discarding another card for improvisation. I'll have, to discard, I'll have to discard a rage for improvisation. That's ten influence. I'll use my last crystal on promise. Fourteen. And minus two because they don't like you. It's yeah. 12. And so I am buying fire mages for nine. Yeah. And a healing for two. Okay. And then your and reputation all... drops by another one. And it's all uh we're all groovy there. They they don't like me, but they'll take my <laughs> Well look look at all of this stuff. You wouldn't want any of this near you. I'm just the naughty mage knight today. You are. Uh meanwhile, so... just so you know, I got mana bolt as my mana bolt. So we need a new spell. Which is going to be Call to Arms. I remember using that in my very first Full Conquest game. It's brilliant. With Norowas. Really, really good. Right. Okay. Are you all done? I am. Right. My go. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, here's my cards. Uh, I've still got these influence cards, which I can't do anything with this is the tricky thing i'm sat on these influence cards which are amazing but completely useless to me um because i am absolutely nowhere where i could use them oh i had a plan and i've just realized that plan isn't going to work i was going to move from there to there and fight this dragon but i realized moving from there to there provokes that one so 
we need a completely new plan. Oh dear. Um, yeah, maybe I wouldn't have taken Mana Bolt, but it's too late now. The the gold die I took, by the way, Paul, yep. I've re-rolled into a red. A red. So we got three red and two green. It's like mm -hmm. Christmas. Okay, so now there is a... Uh, this, yeah. There is a monster den nearby. It's a little bit rubbish. I think I might have to rest. Now, we've not seen a rest action yet. But on your turn, you can rest. And I think that's what I might have to do. Oh, if only it was night time. If it's night time, this would be amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, because that high dragon is resistant to ice and fire. It's not resistant to physical. Um, doesn't it need two points of healing to do that? Oh, you healed a level two unit with one healing point. Yeah, you can't do that, sorry. But I need two units. You okay, need then. two well, healing would... points to do that. I did have one extra, so I would have to play my rage... Sideways. Sideways. Yeah. Okay. So the swordsman is healed. Yeah. It's healing points equal to the level of the unit is okay. what it costs. Oh, gosh. This is awful. Okay. So I am going to play my march card using the green mana from the source to move four. I'm going to move on to the green crystal mine. Um, and then I am going to use my other two cards, my Heroic Tale and my Promise. Believe it or not, they are going to be played sideways for two more movement, giving me six, moving me onto the Monster Den. Which is terrible. Okay, but... That's what I'm doing. And I am not going down the monster den. In fact, what I'm going to do is I am now going to challenge the draconum because I believe if I've got this right, if I've got this right, this might be very, very cool. I've got mana bolt. It costs me blue to play it. And then when I play it, I pay a mana and I'm going to pay white for ranged ice attack six. And then because of my deadly aim skill, I add one to a card that provides any type of attack in the ranged and seized attack phase. So it becomes ranged attack ice attack seven, which is enough to kill the fire dragon in ranged combat. I believe. So that is dead. I think that's right. That seems easy, but that's the right combination of things. Ranged Ice Attack 7 is enough to kill this little fella. So, yeah, there you go. I think this is dead. Killer combo. Awesome. Right, I get 8 fame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I am on 37 fame. And I'm going to get... Oh, and I, my reputation goes up by another 2. Yeah, we're definitely opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of the, fa uh, the reputation track. So, oh, Michael's here. Hi, Michael. Thank you for popping in. David's here as well. Uh, yes, it was David who pointed out the healing thing. Thank you very much, David. Uh, we're done. It's, I'm, I'm discarding loads of cards. I'm re-rolling the mana. It is green again. I'm going to discard these cards. I and mean, that was worth the two crystals that it cost me. Uh, and I'm going to do my level up while it's your turn. So there Okey you go. Doke. It's your turn. So... Skill time. What are we going to do? I've drawn one of my wounds, so uh -huh. it could be a bit of a recuperation turn. Should be easy enough to just get. Oh no, it's not though, is it? Because I'd have to generate five influence to heal that. Yeah, you're at minus three now. So on the reputation track, I should probably just live with that wound <laughs> for a bit. And yeah, that I've got my eye on just jumping over to the ruins. And fighting an orc and a dragon. Be nice to get an artifact and a advanced action, is there? 
It must uh, be. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. And so I've got... See what I've got in my hand. I've got Banner of Glory. Oh, so right. I can attach okay. this to one unit, and it gets plus one armor and attacks of its type. So I can attach it to the Fire Mages. Suddenly they're range fire attack four, or fire attack or fire block seven. It would be good for jumping in against these dragons. Or if I throw it away, then everyone gets that plus one, and I get plus one fame for everyone that participated. Mm -hmm. But then this is gone. So it would still earn me a fame. Yep. Because it's worth two at the end of the game. Have I got enough stuff? The the mana is in a pretty terrible way, though. For that. If worst comes to worst, I could use Swift Bolt to get a white crystal, which would let me use Swiftness as ranged attack three. Or just normal attack four. I would have a white crystal and I could play it sideways with my uh, fancy financial footwork. Maybe it's worth a turn hanging out, but... Because I could just stand on the relic, but all I would have done is spent one card to jump over there. Yeah. I could attach the Banner of Glory to just one thing, and then it I would still have the artifact, and every time Fire Mages attack, they would go off. But maybe I will need plus one armor and plus one attack on everyone mm -hmm. for what I'm going to be attacking. And I can dawdle a bit and have some more cards, especially since the wound is going to gum things up for a little bit. Can't get white mana anyway to get Swift Bolt thing. So it's going to involve, let's do stamina. Just for move two, and I'll use my majestic wings. Flap over to this relic. Or you can just about see that relic on the old map shot. So you can fly over the keep. Can I? Good question. I mean, it is flight. So I assume you I can. I hope I can. Tell me somewhere. Once per round, flip this to card. move to an adjacent space for free or to move two spaces for two move points. You must end this move in a safe space. The move does not provoke rampaging enemies. I assume so, you could go into a dangerous space as long as you end on a safe space. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can do that. These little weaklings in their keep can't do anything about me. Have I got enough to attack it now? Because chill is out of the question. There is mm -hmm. no blue to be had anywhere. It's it's just red and green and that uh, is rubbish. Three red and right two green. Now. I could just I mean I can get red from the fire mages but <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm drowning in red. <laughs> I can attach banner of glory and then just hang out here for a turn and then I would get two new cards because although I'm next to a keep it's not the keep that I destroyed. And then just hope that that's enough. Or oh, I'm going to be fighting a couple of things. Yeah, I'll, I'll attach the Banner of Glory to the Fire Mages. Okay. So they get their plus ones and stuff, and that's just barely going to be on camera. And then play Swift Bolt. I'm just thinking I could get a White Crystal and then have something more useful in my hand. Those three are going to stay in my hand. I always get four attack. I've got wounds. I have like forty attack. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it cautiously, I think. And uh let's play Swift Bolt. Get a white crystal. And so I draw three cards and that is my turn. Okay. So I'm umming and ahhing of what to do here. I've caught up on the phone because I was I was quite far behind at one point, but I've managed to catch up on that. Um, it, it's looking because we've got the rest of today and then we've got the night. So I look, I, I'm going to look at one thing to attack the city in the night, but I'm looking at the map and I'm thinking, well, what else is there really for me to do here at the moment? 
and I don't have much in the way of attack cards. So we do have this monster den. I think we might just not move this turn and we will just go down the monster den. So if you could, uh, before we do that, no, I can do that. Yeah, I'll do that now. So I'm going to flip that over to heal and take a blue crystal. Right, so would you like to tell me which brown monster I have drawn? Uh, you've drawn, oh, a little gremlin -y looking guy. He's all crouched up. Gargoyle. The gargoyle. Yeah, okay. So he's resistant to physical, but other than that, it's not actually too bad. Uh, oh, and I can kill it. Yeah, I've got a firebolt. So thankfully, because of my deadly aim, is it called deadly aim? That one that I've, yeah, deadly aim. That actually becomes ranged fire attack four. Perfect. I'll use the red from the source, ranged fire attack four, dead. Well, made it look easy. Four fame, putting me on 41 fame. And what's the reward for a monster den? It's like two crystals or something, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so but roll the dice twice. And roll the dice twice. Two crystals. Okay, it's red and green. Uh, and I've rolled red and green. So I get red and a green. Right, okay. I am. Have you seen how many crystals I've got? I don't think I've ever had this many crystals in any game of Mage Knight ever. I've got three red, two green, two white, and two blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So, there we go. Uh, I've marked that. I didn't take any damage. So, I don't want to do that. Uh, do we want to save that for moving? Do I want to do a blood ritual? No, I don't, because that gets me a red crystal, which is no use whatsoever. Um, yeah. Oh, gosh. I need a bigger hand size. I definitely need a bigger hand size. These cards are not actually going to help me with doing what I actually want to do next, which is to go for the city, I think. Unless I unless I come down here and go for this keep. Where are you? You're you you're on the ruins, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Yes. But you didn't fight them, did you? You just no. you just flew there. So I'm you're there, you're probably gonna do that next time. <sighs> Yeah, I think I think we at least need to go for the city a bit, or just move around the top and go for those two orcs up there. But moving through the desert at night time, at uh, daytime, that's five, plus another five, plus another three, plus another five. That's insane. Uh, I might just go for the dragon and kill three dragons. But it's got six cold fire with brutal, so that would be four wounds. I can take that. The question is, can I do nine physical to it? I can't. Right. I'm going to end my turn there. I am going to discard my cards. Oh, yeah, my hand size is six. Is it six? It is six. Yeah, my hand size should be six. That's that's my mistake. I should have an extra card in hand. Okay, right. Um, yeah, that does change things. <laughs> so, but I don't think I need Blood Ritual. Although, it's take, a, take a wound, gain three mana tokens of any colours, including non-basic, and then you can pay one mana of a basic colour to gain a crystal of that. Because that's amazing. That is really amazing. I've got so much mana. Um, yeah, I, I can't decide, so I'm going to I'm going to keep all my cards. Yeah, and I'm going to just end my turn there, and I get two more cards. Thank you very much for pointing out my my hand size is six. It's your go. Okay. Let's fight these things. Oh. You going in? Yes. So Gotta be done. Orc and Let's a Draconum. Orc and Draconum. And... Yeah, I thought about going. We've got key. icy resistant things. So I'm not going to be able to ranged fire attack it to death. So you've got the diggers and the ice dragon. But I can fire block it like crazy. So 
so... Where's the diggers gone? Yeah, I could block its whole thing, but I would need... 14... Attack to kill it. I'd have to... Has the source... Is the source still red and green? It's uh, two red, two green, and a white. Oh, okay. I forgot to roll it and put it back. So... In fact, did, why did I use a green on my turn? No, I don't know. Oh, anyway. Cool. Okay, Doug. So I could... So I would have to do will focus. I could do will focus to get myself a blue crystal. A blue token. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter because it's getting used. I could use chill, which would mean the dragon wouldn't attack, which I need to either stop him attacking or block him. So I don't think you can use me... chill on the ice dragon. Can't I? No. Uh, because as well as being resistant to uh, ice damage... I believe it's also resistant to spells of the same colour. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah. Now, where that is in the rules, it is in the rules somewhere. Hmm. So I can boost ranged attacks. When using a blue card or a unit ability that costs blue mana, any effect other than attack or block has no effect targeting something with ice resistance. So if if the chill card said attack six, it would be fine. But okay. anything other than attack or block is not affected. So the, you, you can't do the top effect of chill on the ice dragon. Okay. Um, which well, thematically to... makes, makes sense because it's an ice dragon. Yeah. So I would have to block it with the... I don't think I can do it then. Another. But you can do a bit of it, can't you? Yeah, I think I can kill the orc, but I think it's another. Draw has messed me up here. Because I can block it. I can block the dragon with the fire mages, get a red token from this. Fire block. Fire attack. Fire block six. six. Yeah. But then they're physical resistance, so. I don't think I can come up with. Seven 14... fire attack normal attack because all of this is just normal attack I can easily just well they're fortified so they can't have range but I can I can use a white mana die to get just three normal attack and then I could see how much attack could I make do six from that eight 11. I could make 14. But then I couldn't kill the orcs. Can you play a spell sideways? Yeah, you can play any card sideways, except a wound. Although an inefficiency alarm does go off somewhere in Vlaja's head. So. Yeah. <laughs> so... I could crystal mastery double that white crystal. White die get attack three. Although I don't need range, do I? So I could just like that sideways is four. Ten. 12. Do I just I just need 17 altogether? Um I don't need like I don't need to like get 14 with one set of cards and then do three separately. Yeah, so so this like is it. the thing about if you treat them separately or if you treat them as a group. If you treat them separately, then the orc needs 3. And the other one needs 14. Yeah. Okay. If you group them effectively, then I think the way it works is the orc gets the physical resistance of the other one. Now, I don't know. That's how I've always played it. Uh, I mean, first of all, you have to block them separately. You cannot yeah. group block. 
But when you attack them, you can either treat them uh, as if it was one group or you can treat them separately. But if you treat them as one group, um, then, yeah, I'm just going to find the find the exact wording. Um, where is it? Here we go. Play any number. Right. If some of the chosen enemies are 45. Right. You can play cards. Da, 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 da. Where is the grouping of enemies? Um, you can defeat one or multiple enemies, group the cards and effects you play for each attack in separate columns. If some of the enemies are fortified and some are not, you may want to deal with the unfortified ones in a separate attack. And if some of the enemies have certain resistances and some not, you may want to deal with them with separate attacks as the presence of a resistant enemy halves the value of all attacks of the type it is resistant to. So okay. yeah, basically the, the yeah you can choose, but it could be worse. It could be worse if you if you were to group them together as as one group. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I can do them separately then. I think because it's so that would be six, but they would get wounded. So block blocking first. I can just take a. Uh, I'm blocking with the fire mages. They've got fire block seven on the dragon, and uh, yeah. And I would let that through. I think I have to. So that would be a wound. It would be a wound, yeah, because it's to through. my hand. Then. So how are you? How are you blocking the ice dragon again? Oh, with the with fire, the fire mages. mages, fire block. Yeah, fire block six. Block yeah, the dragon. Because Will Focus is giving me the red. Yeah. Mana that I need for that. Yeah. Then crystal mastery doubled my white crystals because then I can do. So Swordsman is 6, so just trying to get the 14 attacks, 6, 8, 11, 14. So that's the 14 I need for the dragon, because mm -hmm. it's physical resistant. And then using my thingy, play that sideways with a mana for 3 attack, take out the orc. Mm -hmm. So there is some comments uh, in the chat. From some guy called Vlager, whoever he is, I don't know. Um, don't be too afraid of the paralysis. Because what the paralysis is going to do is it's going to mean that you lose all of the cards in your hand. Yeah. But if you can then kill them with your units, that's fine. Oh, right. Yeah. So, the, so obviously earlier on, paralysis was really bad because you only had cards in hand. Yeah. But now, if you were to lose all of the cards in your hand, you can still use any of your skills and any okay. of your, so, uh, your units. Now, what, what skills have you got? You've only got so two fi skills. So fire, I could do fire attack seven, yes. which would just take the dragon. It would get to attack me, but I would just kill it. And then just one of the units can kill the orcs. Well, one can block and one could... Uh, yeah, this, this could block four and this could... So you've got fire attack, attack six. Three. It's fire attack seven with the banner of glory. Oh, with the banner of glory. Right. Okay. So that can just take care of the dragon here. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh... Banner of glory. Why is my mysterious box not in a sleeve? Hmm. Assign this unit to a unit you control. The assigned so unit have gets to have done, yeah, armor have to plus have one gotten... and plus one to any attacks. Whenever this unit attacks or blocks, fame plus one. Right, okay. Yeah, so I've had to have played Will Focus. I could play Crystal Mastery. Mm -hmm. And they would just stay there. So you can they use your cards be... to block the orc. For yeah, example. so they would be played. And so, yeah, I can... Well, if they're going to get discarded anyway, I can exactly. just play these sideways. So use them sideways to block the orc. orc. Yeah, I can, I, yeah, I don't even need to use any mana dice. Yeah. So play those sideways to block three. That's just going to have to come in. Yeah. Which is two wounds and paralysis. Worrying. So this is one that I just picked up. Mm -hmm. Right. That's two. And then I haven't got any non-wound cards to discard. So then. The fire mages with the token do fire attack seven on him, and that's plus one fame because of the banner of glory. Uh -huh. 
So I'll add your fame on, which puts you on 34. And then I can just do Utum Swordsman on the Orcs, attack three. They don't become wounded. And I could even... With the Utum Guardsman... So it was attack six. Yeah, they could take out a, a, one of my wounds. Unfortunately, they're just uh, they're just a bit shy of being able to take all of my wounds. But yeah, since I'm not using the Utum Guardsman, I could give them a wound instead, right? Instead of me taking it in my hand. So if a unit takes paralysis, it's killed. It's removed from the game. Uh, yeah, it's probably better to keep it. Okay, so I'll have those in my hand, and I'm just going to have to sort that out. Mm -hmm. so, so you're then, paralyzed, so you lose all non-wound cards from your hand, which yeah. is none. <laughs> so that is two for the orc and eight for the dragon. So 45. And then what happens? What am I doing? Oh yeah, it's on the card, isn't it? An artifact and an action and an advance action from the display. Uh, I think so. So artifact from here, advanced action. For, there's two advanced actions. So it's it's the reward before the level up, right? It's the reward so before I, the level up. Yeah. Okay, then I will deal with all of that business. While uh, while you go on. While I have my turn. Wow, that was a pretty epic turn. Just enough. Of, well, I think I'm uh, I'm slowly in the quicksand of wounds, but yeah, see yeah. if I can we, we've sort that out. Loads of ruins in this game. Um, so yeah, I, I I I mean, this is the thing with this game. I should have been spending the last five minutes planning my turn, but I was so engrossed with what you were doing. <laughs> um, I've I've got options, but I don't have much in the way of attack. So me going and taking on that other dragon, eh, not really a thing. In fact, the only attack card I have in hand, really, is Improvisation. Um, uh, which is only five. And then it would be a card sideways with my Deadly Aim. And that would actually defeat the Swordsman. So if I can get six movement, which I can... I could go into the Keep. And then we could start recruiting things. Although I've got rid of my... Um, I did get rid of a lot of my influence cards early on, which was a bit of a problem. Yes, that was a bit of a problem. Um, so I don't know whether I should just move round and possibly try and get rid of those orcs up there or hope for better cards to take on that dragon. It's tricky. It's really tricky. So, and we've got this blood ritual. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do this. So I'm going to play blood ritual, which is a card that I don't know that well. But I'm going to play blood ritual. I'm going to use a red mana from the source. I take a wound. I gain three mana tokens of any colours, including non-basic. Um, and then I can pay one mana of a basic colour to gain a crystal of that colour to my inventory. So I'm going to gain two gold. There you go. Uh, and I'm going to gain a basic white, which I then spend to actually gain a white crystal. Okay. Um... Oh, I've still got two gold to spend. So then what I do is I spend one of the gold on a refreshing walk, which is move four and heal two. So there's the heal gone. I've got move four. Um, I use the other gold on improvisation. Oh, I could crystallize. Hang on, hang on. Where do we want to move to? Um... So there's four. That would be five, six, seven. That would be eight, nine. No, it's not quite enough.
Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, that's nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> um, in fact, let's let's use that. Let's let's do this. That's nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven movement uh, from all of this stuff. An eleven movement gets me through the desert. <laughs> yeah, I've moved two desert spaces. Um, but the first, well, first of all, I moved to there. Okay, so I actually, let's just, all I need is five movement. So I've already moved that. So I'm going to save that for now, and I'm going to do improvisation for the three. So there's the seven movement, five of which moves to there, and at that point, we reveal the city. So can we have, please, a white enemy and a brown enemy to see what is in the red city? There is. Oh, your brown is a Medusa. Ugh. Okay. And your white is a Freezer. Mr. Freeze. Uh, is that that one? The one with the sword, swiftness, paralysis? Uh, yeah, like an icy sword. Yep, got it. Yep, yeah. okay. seven points. Uh, and everything in there has got brutal. So I'm going to have to just move this map along a bit because people can't see the edge. There we go. I'm missing an advanced uh, action from the offer because I, I took I took something. Let, let me know what it is in a minute. Um, so yeah, the question is, I've I've got. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got seven movement. I've used five of it. I could now move on to the city if I wanted to. I don't think I want to. Because I would just get killed. So, yeah, I am going to go with my original plan. I'm going to generate four more movement points. Uh, and that's going to move me to there. Uh, and then that's it. I think I'm just going to end my turn there. The red mana is being re-rolled and is black. And I discard all of these cards. Only the Medusa gets brutal. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. It's fi it, anything physical gets brutal. Yeah. So the Amatek Freezers are not brutal. There you go. There's those cards. I'm going to draw five new cards into my hand. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I think it is your go. Okay, so I have taken from... I took Firebolt yeah. from the top. And then Blood Rage came out. Okay. And I've also taken Pathfinding. You've taken Pathfinding. One as the reward and one for the level up. So what's the and offer so, now? Uh, it's Frost Bridge, yep. and then Blood Rage above it, and then Magic Talent above that. I had a question about my level up. So yep. this one here that I can once per round heal two. Can I do that before I draw cards? Or would I have to do it on my next turn? Can I like do it immediately? I don't believe you can. Okay, so I'd have... I, um, I think once you're in your end of turn, you can no longer use skills. Can't use anything. Yeah. So I think I think I'll have that one. Oh, so the one that goes in there is... Uh, I, you draw two cards and uh, get a green mana skill. That goes into the offer. Yep. Remember, you can always take one of mine if you wanted one of my skills that I've discarded. It's not often people do it, but sometimes you do. An exciting buy. I've got an excited buy heal at this stage. So what did you take? Uh, the heal. Ones. Heal two. The heal two. And which one heal. are you putting in the offer? Uh, mm. It's uh, draw two cards and if you last get, get a green, a green yeah. token. Okay. Okay, so right then. What is going down here? So my new artifact. Maybe I don't need to heal things. Maybe I forgot about the other card that I took.
But it is dangerous having a load of wounds floating about in your deck. Yeah. Case you have to draw. When you don't want them. them. They're also negative points at the end of the game as well. Yeah. So. Can I move? So I would need. Just, I haven't got this red. I've just got a white crystal right now. I could play the Sword of Justice. Is this valid? Because I can discard any number of cards from my hand for attack of three justice. breach. I can discard wounds to get if, attack with that? Yeah. Well, no. If it doesn't say including wounds. Okay. It so, it yeah. Anytime wounds. a card is mentioned, it doesn't include wounds unless it, it specifically, specifically says including say. wounds. Okie doke. So I will definitely heal two then. Flip the skill and heal two mm -hmm. of those from my hand. And then I do have ranged fire attack three. So that's that keep. He's fortified anyway, so my ranged fire attack means very little. But uh so attack three for each card you discard. Maybe this is gonna have to be a Bit of a meandering turn where I, I've got white things that don't really help me. I have got some block, I've got block four. Mm, not really that great. I could do my ranged fire attack, but I would still need some more attack. Better off played sideways. That's four. And I wouldn't be able to boost my move and go over to that key. So... I think I'll hang on to the Firebolt in case... That'd be quite good against... Dragon, wouldn't it? I'd need some more though, I'd need my... Fire Mages refreshed. Those together would kill the Dragon. Fortunately, I've already used that. So what am I going to do now? I'd only get to draw two cards right now. So yeah, this is all about somewhere. prepping for taking on these cities, which normally yeah. happens in the night. Yeah, I, could get, I can get a level up before the night. Maybe it's just going to be the keep. I don't think I'm going to be able to ready the the guys in red, like in time to do this dragon. Everything else seems very far away right now. This keep that's sitting nicely on my doorstep, but it is four movement to get to it, which I can do. But then I wouldn't have, you know, I'd have to take. I could I could block four, five, six, and then I wouldn't have enough attack. I don't think. I think I'm just going to have to wait, hang around. How's your deck looking? Got a lot of cards left. I in have it? five cards in my deck. Okay. Yeah, I will just wait here then for now. I don't think I should do anything else. I'm just going to wait here. And uh, that is it. Oh. I'm not happy with the cards I drew. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well. Yeah, I've sort of got some weird cards as well. Um, so I think I'm going to play. I'm going to play mana draw using the white from the source. I, the source, by the way, I have uh, black, white, red, green, green. Black, white, red, green, green. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use the white, uh, and then I'm going to take a black, and I'm going to set it to blue. I'm going to take two blue, and then I'm going to use tirelessness for four movement, and every other card I play providing movement gets an extra one, so that's four. I then play steady tempo, which is normally four, but because of tirelessness is five, so that's nine. 
which is all I need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why am I moving that? So I'm now on the ruins on the other side of the Red City. So I've gone all the way round, basically, because <laughs> I was scared. Um, and then that that is pretty much it. I am going to re-roll the white as black. The blue goes back as blue. So the source is now green, green, red, blue, black. I am going to voluntarily discard Threaten. Uh, steady Tempo I am going to put on top of my deck. The other two get discarded. And then I draw four cards. One, two, three, four. Two cards left in deck. Your go. Okay. Oh, it's doing the Inception thing. Oh, yeah, I need to switch <laughs> off you. There we go. Right, so all I've ended up drawing is uh, is another wound and a bit more diplomacy. I do need, but it's not uh, yeah, not great right now. Uh, it's always good if I use, like, if I am just going to go for the keep, I need block six. I get block four from the guardsman. It's just a block two. Mm -hmm. I haven't really... I've I've spent all of my influence as well. I know no more's coming because I had that big influence turn at the start. So it's not like that's going to get better this round. The pathfinding would have to get me there, and its movement reduction is a little bit wasted. I could use its movement reduction to get next to the dragon, but I don't think. See then. I would have to take its attack, and that is no good because I couldn't kill it with units. I would have to block it, which I, I could get four ice block and then four normal block, but then it's physically resist. Oh, I've got ranged fire attack for three, but no, I wouldn't be able to do it. Can't fight the dragon. So, although it is a bit of a waste of fancy pathfinding it does at least get me to the keep and then standing in this space going back to the map standing in this space will be pretty tasty yeah before going into the city because i would have my hand size boost, boosted by two yes yeah let's do that okay you're gonna Make move to start. the keep moving on the keep lose another With reputation. pathfinding and that's my you're now at minus yeah, that, five that reputation is never coming back what happens if you get to the x uh, you can't recruit. Okay. <laughs> they hate you so much. <laughs> well. So you're fighting. The so Utem I'm there, Swordsman. I'm fighting. Sorry, the Utim Guardsman. Let's see, what have you got? You've got six. Oh, so I could go for what I was saying. Uh, block four with the Guardsman, two with the Diplomacy. Influence two, use influence as block, which is probably what I'm going to have to use influence for from now on. Mm-hmm. It'll take me a ton to do all. Stop hitting me! Things. Stop hitting me! <laughs> says. And then I need five attack. How am I going to do that? What was the plan there? Was it? Do artifacts have colours? No. And what was the plan there to fight them? Maybe I just have to take their attack. And wound somebody. Because that is four. I need five attack, don't I? I can't get the red. Because I've used. Yeah, I needed four movement to get here in the first place, so I had to do that. I think I'm going to have to take the damage and I can do like discard any number of cards from my hand attack three for each of them so I could I could just play the artifact and not have to spend any crystals yep discarding those two would be attack six attack six one more and that would be enough but I would have to take the damage so we need attack seven for these, don't you? Do I? Let's have a look at the unit. See if I've got the right one. No, oh, I've got a different one. Right, I've got the wrong one. 
So it's where are they? I think that's the way to do it. Which ones is it? Uh, what are you? Ah, called? got them. Yep, swordsman. Swordsman. Yeah, I got guardsmen out because they had a sword. Right. I got confused. Yeah, I, th I think discarding the cards is the best way because that will give me an extra fame as well. Yeah. So. So you're yeah, not. I'm going to have to take you the damage. It? You're taking so the damage. I will. I will have to take the damage. So I will. I was wounded any up. fancy abilities, so I will wound the guardsman, and that isn't quite enough. Not quite enough. I have to take one myself. Yep. Unfortunately, but then I get sword one from the sword of justice and four from the keep. Yep. So that's five more. Two, three, four, five. So I'd better, <laughs> if I am going to recruit someone, I'd better do it. I was going to say that's <laughs> another level up. You're now level. I'd better do it before I Seven, <laughs> damage my reputation once more and stop being able to recruit things. Yeah. So my uh, my shielding's gone up a little bit more. Yes. Uh, so all those are discarded. I used the green die, which is coming back as red. So I've got uh, red, red, blue, green. Black, yep. And uh, yeah, that all keep that's is discarded. Yours, so I need to put that a little keep. token on it. I have an oh, absolute yeah. mess of game. It's going to take me an hour tomorrow just to put this game away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've just got tokens everywhere. Yeah. And so I've got plus one at the moment to my hand, but it's, uh, oh, which is useful because then. There oh, we go. I have a cat. Hello. Is it that time? Yeah. It's 10 30 cuddle time. Coming up. No. Come on. There we go. Yeah, on telly. Yeah. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Straight oh, on the mage night. Oh, yeah, all over. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> we have a giant cat. Has he made much of a mess? No, he hasn't. Right, okay. So, what was happening? Where were we up to? I got distracted by cat. It's, uh, it's the start of your turn, and... I should probably tell you that I have no deck left. I just have uh, my hand. Okay. I'm going to attack the dragon. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm going to attack the dragon. So it's the high dragon, which has got six cold fire attack. Now, what's the only block which is effective against the cold fire attack is a cold fire block, I believe. Yes. So I don't have that. And it's brutal, so it's basically it's 12 damage, which is four wounds. Yeah? One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay? But then I hit it, and I just need to do nine physical. So I use the green mana from the source to play Concentrate uh, with my Swift Reflexes for attack five. Then I play Determination for six, seven, using my deadly aim, eight, nine, and that's it. So there's the nine. Made it look easy. Now, it doesn't leave me many cards in hand, but yeah, there's, there's, there's nine attack. Is there any way I can do that more efficiently? I don't think there is. So yeah, I took four wounds, and then I dealt nine attack. So the green dice gets re-rolled as green, and I gain another nine fame, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're both on 51. Uh-oh. Uh, my reputation goes up to the max, and I get another level up. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. I've got seven cards in hand, because five of them are wounds. Um, but if I voluntarily discard these two cards, then at least I get to draw one of them, which might be a healing card. You never know. Oh, it is. Bargain. <laughs> right. Your go. Okie doke. So, uh, is the source... It's red, red, blue, green, right? 
Red, red, blue, green, black. Yep. Okie doke. So I think... Are you taking a turn? Yes, I am taking you a are. turn. Okay. I will... I don't know if I'm going to do anything else, actually. I'm going to just spend a green on Tranquility and oh, heal two. Oh, you git. <laughs> That's and what I was going to do. And hope that that doesn't come back as gold or green. Gold, gold or green. Because uh, I don't think... Yeah, I can't spend another mana to do Crystallize or anything, so that is going to be my turn. Okay. And uh, the live source is... is black. Oh. I have to use one of my crystals. Right. So, my go. Oh, it's Inceptioning. Yes, it's your go. I use a green crystal to play Tranquility to heal two. Your go. Uh, can I? I might as well. I might as well gain a crystal. Okay. Uh, there's nothing I can do with determination or anything like that. Uh, what shall I gain a crystal of? Red or blue? I. Oh, I can. I can pay. I can just pay a crystal and gain a, gain a crystal of any color, can't I? Yeah, you can pay blue. So I will. Uh, I will gain a uh, green. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, that comes back, but I don't think it matters what it comes back yeah. as. Oh, gold! Yeah. I, I I, basically, I'm I'm done. All I've got is... Yeah, we, we've both got hand. pretty useless hands right now. So, I've, yeah. I've got a, I've got a non-wound card, but it, it might as well be a wound. I declare end of day. Here we go. The grand finale. I, I'm, I'm not looking in a good position to take on this city, because I have one unit who is wounded. Oh yeah, and that and that's it. I do have my my banner fire mages, and if I can heal the other guys, but no, nobody wants to talk to me to heal me. <laughs> yeah, right. So, I'm getting rid of meditation and frostbridge, and I'm getting rid of all of the units, and I'm getting rid of the advanced actions. Just throw them all in a pile, and new advanced action in the main bit is intimidate. Yep. Uh, new spell is Burning Shield. Units. That's going to be uh, for elite units. It's Fire Golems, Ice Golems, Amatep Gunners. Fire Golems, Ice Golems, and Amatep Gunners. Uh, newbies. It's Utum Guardsmen and Crossbowmen. Hang on. Fire Golems. Ice Golems and Amatep Gunners. Uh, what was the regular units? Guardsmen and Crossbowmen. Utum Guardsmen and Crossbowmen. And then two advanced actions. We've got... Uh, what in there? Uh, we've got In Need and Into the Heat. Should be the name of a film, that. Into the <laughs> Heat. Probably is. Right, and okay. So. The dice... We are at night time. It is Jaffa Cake time. Nothing deprecated yet, but uh, not a lot of choice. Unless you want to do white spells. Okay. But three yeah, white got... and two black. Oh, wow. Skills refresh. Hmm. Yeah, that's a shame. The units to recruit in the city. Not really there. Okay, so. So Brian has arrived late and he's very confused as to how this is being played. That's fine, Brian. Uh, what we're doing tonight, I don't think has ever been done before. Um, basically, this is my setup. I have a camera. Um, this is Tom's setup. Tom has a camera. We're both live streaming this at the same time. So I'm live streaming this on my channel. Tom's live streaming it on his channel. But thanks to the wonders of modern technology and literally months of working out how to do this, um, we're managing to basically share each other's streams. So um, yeah, that, that's, that's what we're doing. We haven't gone one step further and have me visually appearing on Tom's stream and Tom visually appearing on my screen. We possibly could have done that, but it would have required uh, a bit more extra looking into it. Yeah. So. But, quick question, is this working? 
because this was a crazy idea that we had. And I wasn't sure it was going to work. Do you think it's working? That's my question to you, Tom. Oh, me? Yeah, it's yeah. for me. I think it's working as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. I, I, this is actually working better than I thought it would. I mean, I don't know what it's like from a viewing point of view. The viewers might be a bit confused. Um, but yeah, I think it's working quite well. Now, what's your starting hand size? Um, it is seven, right? Because I'm on, I'm on a keep that I have. Eight. Eight? Yes. Your hand Why size eight? is plus one for every keep you control if you are in or oh, adjacent. Oh, okay. Keeps. So I don't need to be adjacent to both of them. Ooh, no. Even no. better than I thought. Yeah, as long as you are adjacent or in one of your keeps, all of your okay, keeps okay. provide you with that extra support. So. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could be eight wounds. Yeah, I got I got six cards in my hand. Oh, and yeah, the other thing that people are saying in the chat, Brian, is um, yeah, Tom is Tom is controlling the stream. In other words, whenever a card is needed or whenever a counter is needed, Tom draws it, and I'm replicating it at this end. So yeah, we're not both drawing randomly from our own decks. Well, sorry, our own player decks. We are um, right. Now I'm be no, we're both on the same fame. So who goes first? Oh yeah. Uh, oh, there <laughs> is a. It did say a tiebreaker somewhere. Which one is the main rules, and what page was that? Uh, it will uh, be. That was in the round, like one round of the game. Yeah. Two tactic cards. Lowest fame in case of a tie. Whose round order token in is is in a lower position? Should we be changing the round order tokens around every time? We should, and I did. So it's you. I okay, went okay. before you in the last round, so you get to choose which tactic you okay. want first. Right. For so, night time. Is there a pressing need to go first? If my deed deck is empty, I could shuffle my discard pile. Get some Long cards. night. I could re-roll some cards, some dice, which might be good if some get depleted or they just keep being terrible. Shuffle, basically just redraw. Some cards, put five back, get five more. Can I use, so I could use heal two on a unit? Yes. Yeah, I don't have to be influencing that. I... The only type of healing which doesn't heal units is the magical glades. Okay. Because specifically that's not healing. Yeah. It's it, it, it says you can remove a wound from your hand or discard yeah. pile, but it's not healing. I think... I don't know what I'm going to be doing while I circle the city, but sparing power seems like it would be good to build up and then yeah. spend it all to attack the city. Right, now. So, I'm definitely going last. I might have to take preparation, because if I am going to attack that city now, the problem is there's the freezers, and they've got paralysis, and I have no units, and my skills aren't going to help me. Oh, we fight the Medusa's paralysis as well. So if I don't block everything, I lose all of the cards in my hand, and I only have block two. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit screwed. I might have to just take on these orcs instead. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. I desperately need my heal cards. Um, do we do the midnight meditation? I mean, do we do the preparation and draw and wait for my healing? No, because I'm going to get healing. I've got two points of healing there. So what card is in my deck that would be useful against those things? Because they're fortified because they're in a city. So I don't really have much in the way of blocking. That's the problem I've got. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to take on this city. This is going to be tricky, really tricky. Sparing power was kind of my only hope that I just sit here for five, four turns or five turns and building up my cards, which is really inefficient. Yeah. Very, very much regretting not coming back and taking that keep. And then recruiting. So... 
I think I'm going to take Midnight Meditation and we'll see what happens. Right, so I'm going first in the last round of the game and off we go. Well, I'm going to stay where I am and I'm going to go into the ruins. So please, could you draw me two orcs? Okay, Doug, you have... Come in. You have a cursed hag and... A Prowler. Cursed Hag. Which one's the Prowler? Uh, the Prowler got a mace. Got three... Oh, yeah, the, the basic one, the 342. Uh, where is he? 342. There it is. So these are the two that I'm facing. And this is the, this is the Ruins tile that I'm facing. And if I succeed on this, I get one of each crystal. Right. Okay. So... Uh, we have some cards. We have some ranged attack cards, which is good. Um, <clears throat> in fact, I think I'm one short. Oh, curses. Yes, one short. Because that's ranged attack three. Did we, what did you say was in the source? Three white and two black? Yeah. Okay, well, that's fine, because there's, there's one. So that's ranged attack three. That gets rid of that. Boom, gone. Um, I don't, I can't quite get this. So, I mean, that, that is one wound and one in my discard pile. Whereas that is actually one wound. So actually we want to kill this one. So, yeah. So let's actually do, I'm, I mean, I'm not using my deadly aim. I'm going to have to use a white crystal on that. So that's actually ranged attack six which kills that one in ranged. Then this one hits me and deals me a wound. Okay. And then I use rage for attack two, plus two because of my deadly aim and kill it. So there you go. So these two are dead. Uh, I get five fame. One, two, three, four, five, putting me up to 56. Um, and I get one of each crystal. So there we go. I've, I've overloaded on red crystals. <laughs> so I get a red, I get a green. Yeah, I get a blue. Yeah, I, I really don't think I've ever had this many crystals in a game. It's crazy. But that is another ruins, which gets marked with my token. And I'm going to re-roll the white die and put it back as green. Um, now, unfortunately, I've got three wounds in hand and my skills to heal are unfortunately ones that get me crystals, which is a bit of a waste. But, oh, this is a tricky choice, this. I could use these two skills just to heal because I've already got more crystals than I know what to do with. Um... So yeah, I think I'm going to. It's a complete waste of crystals, but I use those two cards to heal two. Done. And then I'm going to draw four cards. You'll go. Right. I'm trying to work out here if I can take the city. Right. On the first turn of the night. I think I can't use... So let me bring the city card... Onto the screen as well. Yeah, so there's they what, all the get plus, gunners and the They all get plus mages. one. Plus one armor. So straight away, this guy can't use chill on him. I can't see that. It all. It's slightly off camera. But, oh, yeah. Let me uh, bring it in the middle we'll or just... something. I've got too many cards. Oh, yeah, the heal, the wound shouldn't go to my yeah. discard. That's a very good point. So, they go out of the game. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, I'm getting tired. So I can't use chill on him because he's resistant. Mm -hmm. I can use chill on him, though. Yep. He isn't resistant. So I can stop him from attacking and give him armor minus four. So he would have five plus one from the city. Mm -hmm. So I would need to do ten damage to him or, say, five fire attack. Well, that's seven, but, you know. The fire attack could just take care of him. 
I could heal two to get that unit back if I really need it. So then this one, it's resistant to everything, but it doesn't really attack anything. It does, it's not got any scary abilities, it's just very resistant. So I'd need to come up with 40 in attack, maybe take the wounds. So I've already used all of this to start this. I've got I've got five block right there, so maybe don't even take any wounds from him. I can get attack four that way. Attack six would be ten. I don't think I've got enough right now. Yeah, the Ultim Guardsmen are not actually that tough in terms of hitting you, but they're just really hard to hit them. Yeah. Because they're double fortified, so you can't even use um, Siege. And they've got seven armor, and they're resistant to everything. So I could stop. Oh, before the start of my turn, I'll put something underneath sparing power. Yeah, I don't know. Lock a card away. What that is. If I do all of this. Yeah, I can take him out. Yeah, don't forget about the plus one armor. So yeah, the guardians. It's sixteen attack to, <laughs> to kill them. But them. Probably have to come back another time, which I can do, right? I can just, I can just do one, can't I? You can do one, and it's. And do I, I have to step out of the city then and come back another time? Yeah. And then it'll be another two move and another reputation loss. Not that you're worried about the reputation. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I've got enough to do the city. With the weight, because it's just like if all this is on screen. The march here I would use to get to the city. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's two away. If I healed this guardsman, I could block I would just get attack two. He's not not that uh, handy there. That would be like attack eight. If I don't block it. I could get attack 10. And play that sideways and it'd be attack 14. I can't discard another card though because I've got enough. We could just go in with the intention of just attacking one of them. Mm -hmm. And then block the other one. Yep. So I've done mana draw with one of my crystals the die I'm using is the spell so I'll stop him from attacking and he gets armor minus four so he's got five resistance and then that's giving me the red crystal to be able to use my fire mages so he's not attacking but I need to block this which is five from determination and the token just about on the screen and Let's see, we could just use Swiftness sideways for the sixth block on him. So that's block dealt with. Mm -hmm. Not attacking. I've done block six. And then he's got five physical resistance. Did you did you block the Ultim Mages? I blocked him with Termination and Swiftness sideways for six. Yep. And then he's not attacking because of the spell. So I need to do oh, because you did the lethal chill. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just need to... I could just do the fire attack on him. Or I'd need to come up with 10 attack, which seems like a waste. I could just do the fire attack. Yeah. I've generated the red crystal with fire bolt. Mm -hmm. I'll do fire attack 7. More than I need, but I'll take him out. Nice. And... You get a fame. Yeah. For using the uh, the unit. Yeah, I get fame for using the unit, and then Two. it's eight for taking out that guy. So sixty. I've spent this stuff. I do I wanna wanna spend tranquility to heal. Oh, I used March and my ability to actually get to the city. So I'm now just parked on a space anywhere outside the city. 
Uh, yeah, because you have to you have yeah. to go back. So I'll 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 stick. Uh, I'll stand on my keep in case. Your I... reputation is now at X because you also suddenly the city. get the urge to. In case so. I suddenly get the urge to influence. So no more recruiting for you this game. Uh, oh yeah, I've got minus one, haven't I? Uh, so yeah, I've I've moved. I have things in my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get that. Get rid of one of them. Yeah, so that's one gone. He's still over there. Well, I get a shield. I get one shield. You do. On one the shield goes on the city. city you which increases one. my hand limit. Only when the city is conquered. Oh, when it's conquered. Okay. Yeah. So that's that. Do I want to heal? I'll. I'll use my ability, actually. I'll, I'll use my ability to heal the guardsman. That's heal yep. two. Get rid of that. So they're ready. And yeah, so that's still all of that stuff spent. I spent a black from the source, which now becomes green. Okay. Is that a green, black, green. and three whites? I've got two green, two whites, and a black. Okay. okay. I haven't changed. Because I used one of the whites. From yours. Changed it to a green. Done. Okay. Come to me. So, based on what I've got, I, I yeah, I don't know if I'm ever going to be in a position to be able to attack this city. Um, it's a bit tricky, it, to be honest. I'm just going to use green mana to play refreshing walk, move four, heal two, get rid of those two, move to here, and say done. Um. And I am going to put the, the the mana dice that I used goes back as gold, which is no use. And then I'm just going to draw three cards. At least I got those wounds out of my hand because that saved me some points. I'll draw three cards and see what we get. I just don't think I've got much in the way of attack in this in this deck. Right, you'll go. So. Oh, we've both got Firebolt in our decks. Yes. Okay, so we did something wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, how's that happened? <laughs> yeah, we, we've done something wrong earlier on, so apologies yeah. for that. We've obviously miss, missed... <laughs> there is no things. backtrack in that at this no, point. No, we, we can't backtrack that. I took that ages ago. So... Right, yeah. I... Let's It'd see. be interesting to go back to the stream and find out... Yeah, why, why, why I've got a Firebolt in hand... Yeah. Maybe maybe I took it really and sure. gave it to you and accidentally gave it to me. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. So, right. I Can I go in and fight that guy? I just need loads of attack, don't I? I don't think I've come up with... You need 14 attack. The million attack I need to fight him. Moving there's no problem. It's just You've two, got the isn't universal it, power. City. Yeah, I've got mana sitting here. I've got crystal mastery. There's no blue to kick that off, unfortunately, and no way of me getting blue. I would love red, because this isn't going to get used as anything right now. Although it could be used as block later when my uh, diplomacy comes out. Uh, so I've got ranged attack. I've got attack three there, which I could use with a white die. My tranquility is still sitting. I could draw another card. But let's see. I've got... I'm just, uh, just a shame I haven't really got... Um, red. So I can discard something for attack three. Maybe that's going to be threaten. That would be attack three, five, eleven. I haven't used anything sideways yet. Fourteen. And that's what. Oh no, they need. They're sixteen, aren't they? Fourteen, sixteen. And then hang on to crystal mastery, stamina, and tranquility. I've just used my guys for attacking. Uh, swordsman will become wounded, but I could just use my tranquility and unwound them. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna stamina get back onto the city. Yeah, reputation goes down even further. <laughs> <laughs> it's they couldn't zero. think much less of me. No. And so yes, I've moved with the stamina. That is gone. You are in I the city then, again. I'm back in the city. I'm using. So guardsmen are two. 
swordsmen are six, but they become wounded, maybe it would be an idea to try and do it without wounding them. Let's see. Just take discard, the discard a card uh, to get move three. Oh yeah, I could just not block at all, couldn't just I? Just take and two wounds, yeah. Just take two wounds and heal them straight out of the game with tranquility. And just use... Yeah, because I'm not blocking them anyway, I don't think. Just if, if I do attack three with them, let's see if I've got an attack without hurting them. Attack five. Improvisation is going to be another three. So that's eight. Ten. Thirteen. And I need... Uh, sixteen. So no, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to wound them, and I'm not blocking anyway. So I am gonna take I'm gonna take two wounds, but I'm just gonna tranquility them mm -hmm. straight away with my green crystal. Yeah, I've already used a die. So I'll use my green crystal to just take those wounds away. So I've done him. He is eight. So uh, where's that button? Oh yeah, universe. Would universal power have been better? I, c I could have done like... Mm, I could have done swiftness sideways and it would have been four instead of three, but I don't think it would... With Just with the colours available, I don't think it would uh, give me enough to not hurt that unit. I'm trying to keep in mind my universal power there. I've got crystal mastery that I can use in the future. Anyway. Yeah, maybe, maybe use Crystal Mastery to duplicate the green before I use it. For my, um, that, that spell that boosts things. But anyway, I don't think I could have not wounded that you. I get eight. That's the wrong button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So level up, that'll sort. Oh, I should have put a card underneath my Uber. Putting you on 69 fame, yep. No fame. All of that's spent. White die goes back into the source. Did you kill it? I've killed it. Yeah, so that city is conquered. Get another shield and on that. Yours, your hand size is plus two, I believe. And I think it stacks with the keep. Yep. So your hand size is like nine. <laughs> Something crazy. Uh, ten. Ten. Wow. It's, it's two if you, it's two if you mm. are the city's leader and two for the keeps. Yep. Hand size of 10. So what dice did you use from the source? Uh, I used a white, and I believe I've just re-rolled it to be white. My source is white, white, green, black, and then a gold. Yeah, got it. Sitting in shame. Okay. I think that's it. I will do my level up. Yep. I'm using a green from the source to play March. I'm going to use stamina with a blue crystal to move eight. I'm gonna move on to there. I get a green crystal at the end of the turn from the mine. Uh, I, I have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest. Um, I need to be throwing away, uh, or just getting rid of some of these cards um, because some of these are just of no use to me. So blood ritual is getting discarded. Uh, determination is staying, absolutely. Threaten is staying. Firebolt is staying. I draw three cards. One, two, three. You'll go. Dice goes back as black. Oh dear. We have two black. Two. Could you just tell me your uh, skills in the offer pool? I haven't been keeping track. I've got... Oh no. Skype's frozen again. If you can hear me, Paul. I think we might have lost time. I can just about see him moving around. Hello. We lost you there for a minute. Still, yeah, the stream. Oh, the stream went down for a second. I don't know what happened. Oh, right. there. Uh, could you just tell me your skills that are in the offer? Oh yeah, you're I thinking think of taking missing. some? I think so because uh, I don't think I've got great ones left. Okay. So I have. Um, taunt. Okie doke. I have Wolf's Howl. Oh yeah, I've got that one. And I have On Her Own. On Her Own. Oh dear. Oh, yeah. Boosting my influence. 
I think that ship sailed. Yeah. Now, okay, if then, you do take one of my skills, you must take the bottom. The bottom card. Action from the. Thing. Wouldn't be too bad. Although magic talent is pretty nice, if I've got the tokens and stuff to do a nice beefy spell. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's night time. I need a spell. I. I'm going to stick with one I got, so the one going into the offer is this one. So for all of your... Oh, yeah, yeah. For every different crystal. Every different get crystal. A... Get an influence. Yeah. It's actually pretty good for you. Yeah. Uh, so I've got this one that I can flip to get a, a blue crystal and a green token. Yeah. And... Okay, what what do I do now? <laughs> exactly. I could go and... Oh, there's a dragon. Yeah. I haven't really got much in the way of fire. Oh, I need to pick a thing, though. Oh, your quick turns, Paul. Well, intimidate, no chance. Well, it does it does give you attack, but the influence I can't yeah, use. Intimidate is great. I'd love magic, that. Attack seven. Magic talent. Oh, I should... Yeah, magic talent is tempting because I could get a spell. And there is black available. I get, say, Call to Arms, which could replace one of my units. Does the, what would happen if I got a new unit? Would it be ready? Yeah. I do have a wounded level 2 unit. Yeah, you could get rid of it. I could grab a better... But then Blood Rage is... Very tasty. 9 attack on, say... The dragon that's chilling out over here. But there's no red, is there? But there's ways around that. Is there? Now, I'm going to go for magic talent. Okay. I like. I was advised to take it in my solo playthrough, and I liked it. Okay. What card have we got instead? Oh, yeah. We've got Mana Storm. Oh, dear. Okay, so... Looking at... Oh, I'll just stick with that shot. Looking at the map, there's a dragon over here to be taken out. Yeah. And then all of the other action is light years away. Yeah. Over in this kind of area. I do have pathfinding. So there is a green in the source. I could move four, and then the cost of all these terrains is reduced by two. So could that get me somewhere... Quite a mage tower. This this isn't it. Is this mage tower thing here still? Did you uh, do that ruins? No, I you did, did that, that relic. Yeah, yeah that's you one. did that. that and you did the one you're standing on. Oh dear. So I could just go and fight a mage tower. Can I fight anything in that city? That's surely like 30 movement. You've not got me in the right place. I'm on the green crystal mine just to the east of the mage tower. That's it. Raise the monastery. The old cries come out. Raise the <laughs> monasteries. Well, I couldn't think much less of me. I do have some normal movement cards. So I'm I'm in the city, right? You are... I believe you're in the city, yes. So, let's see. I could go and fight the dragon. You could just could... stay where you are and provoke the dragon. Oh, yeah? I could yeah. just stay where I am, fight the dragon. Could I do... Magic talent to get the call to arms and get a unit that would be useful against Apparently, the dragon. The, the hand size modifiers don't stack. I thought they did. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. We've been oh. playing that wrong. <laughs> so, I think this is like the first turn that it's mattered. Drawing new cards. If you are on... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, use the higher bonus. So you should only have eight cards in hand, okay. not ten. Thank you for that. It does say that in the rule book. Okie dokie. So I, I have I have my sparing oh, I just put one under sparing power though, so I'm not gonna yeah. get to use that yet. Uh okay. So how much movement is it to get? There's a dragon sitting right here. It feels like I should do that. Can I get fire things by stealing units? There's gonna be more points. To have a better unit anyway, isn't it? And yeah. to not have a wounded unit. Yeah. Wounded I don't have a way points. 
I don't have a way of getting. Um. I don't have a way of getting a load of. Uh, the word I'm thinking. I'll do magic talent. I'll discard a card. I think pathfinding is going to come in very handy at some point. I will get rid of diplomacy to use magic talent. So that lets me play a spell card as if I had it and it stays mm -hmm. where it is. So white crystal from my inventory, black die from source. I will use call to glory. Yeah. To recruit a unit from the offer for free. Mm -hmm. Now they're not fortified, are they? But they've got seven defense, and unfortunately, these uh, these fellas here just got attack six. So, but if I got ranged attack two, that would finish them that off. Would, that would be enough. First, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, you could take the Amatep gunners. gunners. So, yeah. You gonna recruit I'll, the gunners? I'll grab the gunners. Yeah. So you're spent. You're spent. I will dispose of my severely injured uh, Utum swordsman. Can't you? Services have are no units? longer required. Have I missed you getting a unit from the call to glory? Uh, I've got you with swordsmen, guardsmen, and fire mages, and you're about yeah, to it. recruit your fourth one. Yeah. So I have to get rid of someone. Oh wait. I don't have to get rid of anyone, do I? Oh. I've got this. I've got another command token, haven't I? Yeah. I've been thinking I had to get rid of someone. You can have four Never units. Okie doke. Even better. So I probably won't be able to fight it right now because I think I'll need a die. So I could just. Pr yeah, I'll, I'll need um, red mana to be able to do that. Mm hmm. And maybe some white. So I think I could do tranquility. And heal the unit. I think I'll hang on for now. So I've spent those two. I could get a white crystal. Oh, I have got my sword of justice. That's good if I was fighting loads of enemies. Oh, I can get rid of its physical resistance. But I would have to get rid of the artifact. I think I'll wait a turn. Okay. So my hand limit is eight. Yes. Stack. Six. I get to draw two things still. Okay. Black yeah. dice is getting rolled. I'll just I'll just wait. So black die comes back in and it is green. Ooh. Two white, two green. I've got. Oh, I've and got, the gold. I've got two white, a black, and a green and a gold. Because I had two white and two black a minute ago, and you've just used the black as green. Oh, maybe I've knocked one. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Right. Is it me? It is. So I still don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm going to use that green to draw two cards. Oh, now I get the attack cards. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, so... I'm going to. I need to save these. I need to really save these. So this is. I, I'm, I've realised I can't take this city on because I've played terribly, um, and unfortunately the two things in the city have both got paralysis, and I only have cards. I don't have any units. I don't really have any skills, um, and I've no block. So I'm going with something completely different. So we've drawn two cards. I'm now going to play um, March for four. And I'm going to play. Oh, I need to save this. Right, do we need to save this? No, I probably don't need to save this. So, Firebolt Sideways for one is five. To move to the monastery. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Threaten with my red crystal. I'm going to play Improvisation discarding uh, tirelessness. So five influence, 10 influence, plus my extra five because they love me, 15 influence. And then I'm going to turn um, 
rage sideways for 16 influence and recruit the fire golems and the ice golems. There you go. <laughs> I re-roll the mana dice and put it back as blue. And then I discard all of these cards. Yeah, it's not ideal, but I now have two nice units. Your go. Okay. Right, I am not in any better position to get some red mana. I've only got two cards I could use Tranquility deck. to... There is only one card in my deck, actually. So that's because a load of them are underneath Sparing Power. So do I flip them over? Maybe I flip them over. I have got a green for the... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose to instead of drawing more cards. Oh, hang on, I just cheated. Yeah, uh -oh. yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Let's just go back. These units that I recruited, I got the icon wrong. Oh no, they are recruited in a mage tower <laughs> and not a monastery. So. Yeah, at you want that to try point, and fight that mage tower? Uh, uh, well, at this point, and the fact that it's half eleven at night, I think I might I think just, just let you play and finish it off because you've won. I think just 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 pretend that's a mage tower. For now, for it being half eleven, for it being half eleven, and I'm getting really tired. We'll um, just say that that was a mage tower. I, I well, I don't think it matters. Because I can, I can recruit them, but then I can't do anything. Because I, I, I don't have enough movement points to get back to the city. Um, and the way that the end game scoring is going to work, I think you've, I think you've got this. So, I think can I make some big last wasteful stand at the city and have one big last turn? Yeah. Um, I mean, if, if I, I mean, I just moved five. So yeah, if I couldn't recruit them there, I would have gone here. But then I wouldn't have done all of that stuff. Maybe I can undo it. You, you take your turn. I'll try and undo it. Okay. Zero. Uh, what did I have? It was Five. these. Okay, then. So I could... I could get to the city with five movement. By upgrading this. Can I do anything there? You can get to the other city. Uh, because the pathfinding up upgraded ability doesn't have like a minimum of two requirement to it. Right. So it's making a load of terrain free. Well, that's the old pathfinding. Let me look at. <laughs> has, it been, has it well, been? Has it been Do you have Lost Legion? Uh, I have, but I haven't. Yeah. So um, what you need to do because Lost Legion contained then. a load of updated cards. Okay. So you need to go through. Yeah, it just says the move cost of all terrains is reduced to two. Yeah, Not so I could two, go. Tutu. Oh, Tutu. So tutu. two, four, six, eight, ten yeah. to get in there. So that would be four. Yeah, I think once I got there, I wouldn't be able to do much. But I might as well. I've got, I've got all these cards hidden in here. I'll just instead of adding another one to it, I'll just take them. So that card's done. So all these come into my hand. I've got some wounds and stuff. So once I once I got to the um once I got to the city though, would I be able to do anything? Because I could do like Let's just fight the dragon for now. Will focus gives me a red mana token. I'm gonna use mm -hmm. it on fighting the gunners. So that's range uh do it on fight do it give it to the gunners to fight the dragon. So that's ranged fire attack six on it and then I can use a white die and swift bolt for ranged attack four which is halved to two but that's enough to kill it yes okay that's them used your reputation use... goes up by two they don't hate you anymore oh lovely finally I and can you regret get eight fame get eight fame 77. and I will I'll use you my tranquility between I'll us, use my kill tranquility the token it's been. It seems like easy. A, a bit of shakiness at the start, but we've yeah. been uh, demolishing things. Yeah. I'm gonna heal. 
these two wounds that are chilling out in my hand mm -hmm. with my tranquility and a, and a mana crystal. And then so they were spent, they were spent, they were spent. That is my turn. And I've got all of my cards now. We'll see if I can make some kind of big last turn. Okay. Okay. So I've undone. And what I did is instead is I just moved five to this swamp here and didn't yep. go to the monastery at all. Okay. So now on this turn, I'm going to move and attack the Mage Tower. Because the Mage Tower is still invisible. It's, it's, I still don't know what's inside because it's now night time again. Um, yeah, the problem is I it's on a swamp, isn't it? Yeah, it would be on a swamp. Who builds a Mage Tower in the middle of a swamp? <laughs> so I need five, but I kind of want to save my improvisation because that potentially is my attack so it might have to be uh, what's the source i've got two white a blue oh. and a black uh there is a white blue and black and yeah. i didn't re-roll one blue you should have two blue white black okay right so and i've got that i need that for influence for next turn so i can recruit yeah so i need to save them Oh, this is, this is crazy. I just don't have enough stuff. So tirelessly, tirelessness with the blue is move four, and I just need to play one more card, which is going to be determination sideways for another two. So I'm going into the mage tower. Could you draw me? Oh, I lose a reputation. Ah, now that's a problem. That means I'm not going to have the plus five. Could you draw me a purple token, please? Uh, you found a monk again. Oh, well, not a monk again. Poisony dude. Yeah, it, it's not too bad. Um, it's just... How am I going to kill it? So, yeah, I think I just take take the wounds and the damage. So, unfortunately, it's two to hand and two to discard. Yeah, this is actually going to cost me more points than I'm going to gain from it. But never mind. Uh, and then I hit it with... Rage using a red crystal bonus attack because of that killed it for fame. One, two, three, four. So that has liberated the mage tower, which means I get a reward. I've rolled the dice and it's gone back as green. Which one did you spend? Uh, I spent a blue and it's gone back as okay. green. So I get one of the Ooh. spells. Um. If the card is used as part of a successful block, destroy the blocked enemy. So there we go. That, that, that's one way of doing it. Fire block four with a little bit of extra block. I'm, ne I'm not going to get to the city again, but I'm going to take burning shield as the spell. Uh, and then I'll draw back up to six. Oh, look, burning shield. Right. I should use the improvisation as block. I was kind of going to use the improvisation as uh, influence and then be able to recruit two units, which gets me six points. But you're right, I've lost eight points by having the wounds. So, yeah. Never mind. We'll see how we get on. <laughs> as I say, it's late. I'm not playing super optimally because I'm pretty sure Tom's won. Right, you'll go. Okay, I think I am pretty much done. I think I could get to the city. Could you? With my wow. pathfinding, but I don't think I could do anything there. Okay. I mean, I think, have you got I any think, cards in your deck? Uh, I've got no cards in my deck. I've just so you, got my hand. You could declare end of round if you wanted to. If I could get to something to fight, I've got the Sword of Justice. I can get rid of physical resistance and stuff, but that's... Yeah. Uh, the closest thing right i'm in the city still the closest thing is eight away so i could i could fight some orcs <laughs> try and redeem my reputation it's whether giving but me I, two turns is I, yeah know. i don't i think the at best i'm going to just be able to do an orc for like two points yeah. i can yeah or i can get a crystal but yeah, I think I just declare end of round because all, okay. all of my uh, all of my units are 
yep. are done. I've I've got a uh, oh I could yeah I would get a crystal and what's that like a a point? Can I have one more spell, please, for the I'll offer? I'll probably get there, but yeah, I don't think I can do anything worth it. Uh, which which uh, you got fireball? Fireball. Okay. Oh, brilliant! Siege fire attack eight. That would be perfect. <laughs> Anyway, so this is my last turn of the game. Uh, I am going to use the white from the source for Heroic Tale for six influence, plus my three for my reputation. Uh, so six influence for Heroic Tale. Three for that is nine. I am going to threaten for 14. And then I am going to use Improvisation with Burning Shield for 19. So I have 19 influence. Um, so I don't actually need to power up improvisation. So I've got 17 influence. I will recruit the two units that I was going to recruit earlier on. And that is it. We are done. Yes. Wow. What I, a disaster I should have game. burnt the monastery, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry that burning monasteries is we didn't burn so any far back on my mind. In the whole game. Right. No, so. I failed. I, I, I probably tried. could have burnt the monastery, yeah, but he tried. I think I think there's been plenty of mage knight. Yes. Okay. Let's go through the points. So, achievement bonuses. So we need to sort our decks out into oh, um, wow. advanced actions, spells, artifacts, wounds, and all of that stuff. Oh, I accidentally picked up the Uton crossbowmen who were wounded. Uh, that's advanced. That's advanced. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, right. Okay. Is that right? One, two, three. Yeah, I think I've got the right number of advanced actions. So at some point, we both just took Firebolt accidentally. Yeah. So, first of all, the greatest knowledge. Two points for every spell, one point for every advanced action. So I get, one, two, three, four, I get nine. Now, we're, okay. we're taking the, uh, yeah, we're taking the crystals off the board now. It's actually straight points now. So nine onto 60 is 69. And how I many did you put? Eight. Eight. So you go up to 85, and then I get the three points bonus. Right, the greatest loot. Artifacts at two, and every two crystals is one. So I get four. Yeah, I get four. Oh. So we both get one each, I believe. Is that because you've only got... I've got two artifacts. Two artifacts and no, no crystals. crystals. Ah, right. Greatest leader. Uh, so units at their level, and if they're wounded, halved. So I get seven. Nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you get 12. Because you get the nine plus the three. The greatest conqueror. Right. So for monasteries, keeps, and towers. So you first. You've got a tower there keep there and a keep there so you've got three so yeah. you get six so 108 uh i've got that one there which i forgot to put a token on i think i've got the one yeah i've got one so i get two so you get a bonus of three one two three we then have the greatest adventurer which is um yeah all of the other stuff so i've got ruins Ruins, Monster Den. Is that it? I thought I did three runes. Mm -hmm. I only did two. All right, so I've got three. So I get six. I think I've got three as well. Two ruins and a you got two ruins monster and spawner. spawner. Where's your other ruins that you got? One by the city. One earlier on by the mage tower. Oh, did you get the one right at the start? Yeah, that was the one... Um... That got me back in the game, the three... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three mana for... So you got six as well, which is actually seven. 
So next is the greatest beating. I have four wounds. That loses me eight points. I somehow don't have any. No wounds? No oh, wounds. So I lose another three for that. Yeah, so that last move actually lost me a bazillion points. And then conquest scenarios for each conquered city, the city leader gets seven fame. So you're actually on 125. Others who contribute to get four fame each. And there we go. You win. Well done. With 125 to my 81. So I knew you wow. were going to win. I just... I, yeah, I didn't think you were going to be that far ahead. Yeah, there was there were so. some turns where like it just like I just managed to do like a big fight, just barely like just yeah. had the cards to do it. Yeah, just had the wounds to take it, and of it, course, Emil. Yes, credit goes to Emil for his uh, well getting me back in the game with that ruins. Yeah, oh that ruins at the start was fantastic. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do one of those shrines where you spend three mana as like the first thing they did in the game. It's like, yeah. because the chances like, of you getting three mana at that point in the game are so slim. Yeah, at the, at the start of the game, just kind of circling, not managing to do anything at all. Yeah. Just discovering lakes in the way of everything. Mm. And then finally, just went to a magical relic. Yeah. And got to level up. Yeah. It, I, I mean, I really enjoyed the game. The game's amazing to play. I'm... I'm in two minds about how bad I played. Part of it is I'm blaming myself for making bad decisions and what what could I have done, what should I have done. Um, and I'm trying to weigh up how much of that was down to my bad play and how much of it was really unlucky draws on the city at the end because these two had paralysis, yeah. which means that I, I, I couldn't attack them because I couldn't block. My deck management was pretty terrible. Um, it started off all right. But I think with me avoiding the stuff in the middle and going for the city, I ended up being in a place where I only had one unit and it was uh, it, it was wounded. And by the time you want to be taking on the cities, you you need to be recruiting units. And I, I yeah. went too far north and I went to an area where there was nowhere to recruit. Yeah. And I, I was, I was lucky that I could still reveal a city back here. Yes. I was so far behind everything coming out. Mm. that I kind of stayed you said before didn't you I kind of stayed in this area where I could keep yeah the stuff there was two keeps there was a monastery and there's a mage tower here and I, I, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have rushed up here I should have I, or maybe I should have seen it and then I should have come back and taken that keep or taken the monastery or done what I've just done now gone over here taken the mage tower and then stay because I've got so much influence in this deck and then yeah. stayed and recruited some units, recruited some spells, and then gone for the city. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you had a so lot of influence was... and a mass and the bonus from everyone liking you. I I, I, had, I had a silly amount of influence. I had um, I had heroic tale, which was six. Obviously, I had the threaten and I had the promise, um, and I had the I had the bonus because I'd been doing good deeds for the whole game. So there you go. Now, my opinion of this game doesn't change when I play it. How are you finding it, considering you... When was it you did the solo playthrough where you well, basically learnt it again? That was about two... It's two weeks ago, Right, and then you've played it or, once Or just since. under two weeks ago. I've, this, this is my first game since then. Oh, right. I thought you so played it once more I, So I was, I was worried, a bit, especially because you don't encounter cities in no. First Recon. So it's just like, well, I, I, hopefully... It'll all click yeah. with how the cities work, but it's it's not like you really need to know much. Like, I think um, I got I got quite lucky with the white city as well. The, that the city was just, yeah, you did well just add that. in plus one block. So what? Whereas uh, making them all brutal, yeah, especially when they've got paralysis and yeah. swiftness as well. It's like the worst <laughs> combination of things. But yeah, I I don't think there was ever a time, even when I first had Mage Knight, where I went off it. I've always thought right. it's such a fantastic game. And mm -hmm. I put it... I, I don't know when, maybe it's like a year ago now, I did like a top 10 solo games. Yeah. And I controversially put Mage Knight at the top of it, despite not having Mage Knight or having played it for years. So you still put I it as your times. number one solo game, but, despite not owning it. Yeah, because I think it's right. the best. I, th I do think that it's 
like ex excluding like the rule that I've got that Gloomhaven doesn't get put on top tens anymore because it would just win them all. We we've heard enough about to uh, about Gloomhaven. Yeah, and uh, I've I've never played Gloomhaven solo either. I've uh, right. only played it. Yeah, two but you can't play Gloomhaven solo. No, you have to right. play it. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, you have, have to play to it two-handed two solo. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the 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 only reason is the the cycle that I hope that I've gotten out of now, or for now I have, of I get Mage Knight, I play the first recon, yeah. I learn the game, I maybe play yeah. it once in time to remember it, and yeah. then I need to play all of these other games. Other things get in the way, and then I and then it's been like a year since I've yeah. played Mage Knight, and I yeah. have to do first recon again and do all of this. Yeah. And that's exactly stuff. where I was with Too Many Bones. Yeah. Which is why I said to myself, I'm playing this once a week in January and then once a month from then on. And yeah. I'm now at the point with Too Many Bones where I'm now comfortable with the base game. A game like Mage Knight or Too Many Bones needs a certain level of investment and repeated plays within a short period of time. Uh, and, then it, and then it clicks. There was a few yeah. rules, obviously, that I got wrong tonight. So thank you very much to the people in the chat for those few. Hopefully I'll remember those for next time. There was a time where I was like the Mage Knight rules guru for, for a few years and, and, and knew everything and was answering all of the questions online. But yeah, I, I've not played this game that much. Um, yeah, fascinating. Want to play again? You want for yeah, it? Definitely. Don't go yeah. downstairs, grab a coffee and then we'll go, we'll go again? No. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I've this got is 12 hours tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we'll, be, we'll be done in two, three hours. Yeah, 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 no problem. Yeah, I mean, we were almost four hours tonight. No, we were almost yeah. five hours. Um, it's it's longer than I expected, but... Yeah, I think it would be faster. On, it would yeah. be faster if we did it I again. think it would be faster again. I think we could probably work it out so we can get ourselves on the screen together. We could. As well. Yeah, need another camera but and another with, feed each. and then with like the With like the time that we had. Yeah. I think it worked... Uh, pretty well yeah. and yeah i'm i'm still in and in about stuff too much and we just kept watching each other's turns <laughs> that was than, that was like... the problem i should have been thinking I, I started to at the end i started to think right what do i want to do on my turn um yeah now you, you when we first discussed this you wanted to play cooperative and i persuaded yeah, you I... by saying no uh, <laughs> that we should yeah. play competitive it's... do you now and, and, see why yeah and, and someone did say earlier on I forgot to respond to that. Yeah, it would it would have taken forever. Yeah, trying to coordinate it. Yeah, and trying to like I I don't know how long it would have taken, but that's the I think that's the only multiplayer I've played of Mage Knight. It, I don't know if it's once or twice playing with Rach Cooperative mm -hmm. Conquest, and I th I think I think Rach enjoyed it, but mm. just this is way beyond the threshold for like her, the time that she will. Yeah. Stay invested in the game, yeah. which is and fair enough. Blitz. Yeah, yeah, which which is yeah. is definitely fair enough because yeah, there's, there's plenty of somehow Mage Knight manages to sidestep that, but there's yeah. plenty of games I've just said this is too long. It just doesn't hold my attention for. Yeah, I was having this discussion with Vicky downstairs because obviously, um, well, not obviously, but you know, twenty twenty five years ago, I'd I'd spend twelve hours playing Advanced Civ. That would be a day for me. I'd spend ten hours playing Axes and Allies. That was just what we did. Now I don't do that because those games take too long, and the reward that you get back is not worth the time you put in. Yeah. I I could play Mage Knight for a four or five hour game. I mean, we could set up downstairs and play a full Conquest three player, and spend like six hours playing it, and it would be an amazing six hours. Yeah, <laughs> because of the epic, the, the epic feel of the game, you are invested yeah, in the whole time. The progression through the game, the way that your character develops, and is so powerful at the end, it's a worthy six hours. It's not like oh, it's a six-hour game. I don't want to play that. Um, you know, there are other six-hour games out there that I don't feel have the same amount of return on investment of time. No, there's there's a lot where, like, if if the even though you are doing the same thing essentially in Mage Knight, mm -hmm. it for some reason doesn't feel like no. You are it's it's because there's so many. It's it's a reason that I'd like accept people being put off it. That every step is like I've I've heard that against it before. That like even moving, moving around in this game yeah. is <laughs> can be a nightmarish puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> moving one step, whereas uh, yeah, if you played something like Roombound. 
yeah, most of these you, things are just taken care of. Yeah, yeah. Or even you can just have a breezy adventure. When Maybe that makes you work for out, it. That that was one of the biggest criticisms. Is people was like, I can't move without playing a card, because so many people are used to games where, okay, your character has a default movement of three, and then you can do an action. Yeah. And this game is like, no, 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 no. No, if you if you want to move, you you've got to play cards to move, and the movement cards are all part of your part of your deck. And I felt that when I started playing it. I actually yeah. felt that problem, but then as I start, as I played it more and more, I was like, "That's not really a problem." Yeah, you just you, you've you got do to... start out surprisingly strong. Yeah, even like even though all of these things will make you crazy powerful. Yeah, even your starting deck, you can get quite a lot of stuff done. It it sometimes depends on card draw and stuff, and the enemy draw that you get. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that can get in the way, but like uh, like a lot of euro games like like i've been saying with all these vital Azerta games like there's there's often if you think about it enough there's often a way around yeah what you want to do there's often a way to do it that you weren't thinking of i'll tell Mage you it's probably like the you, king of that when you start progressing the cities to a higher level you know when you start playing against a level seven eight or nine city and you're there and you're facing it and there's four enemies inside and you're looking at it and you've got a hand of like eight cards, you've got three units, you've got spells, you've got artifacts, and you're like, right, just give me a just give me half an hour. <laughs> I'll yeah. just I'll just sit here and work out. And and quite often you can't do it. Quite often you need to think, right, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna kill two of them. And then I'm gonna block the paralysis one, and then I'm gonna take the wounds from the other one, and then I'm gonna retreat. But that's it. You know, I, I've, yeah. I've I've killed two of them. I'm 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 done. Now I'll go back and I'll do this and I'll heal up. And then draw some more cards, and then I'll go back in and have another go, which is what you did. You know, you didn't take out the city in one go, um, and sometimes that's just what you have to do. Yeah, especially if you're free to do it. And a, a lot of these um, artifacts as well that are like extra fame or extra abilities yeah. for everyone you're fighting. Yeah. At those higher level cities, they can like. Uh, yeah, the artifacts are really good. Anyway, it it is late. Thank you very much yes. for your time. Hope you've enjoyed it. Happy anniversary yes, for later on this month. Um, Soon. Definitely up for this again at some point. Yeah. Um, oh, Emil obviously. has apparently taken on two level 11 cities. Yep. I, 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 I can yep. believe that, Emil. Yep. Just from chat. Yep. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine, Phil, who helped, uh, who co-designed the last two expansions with me, uh, I think he's also played it um, full conquest solo and taken on two level 11 cities. It is wow. there. It can be done. It's very, very hard to do so. And one of the favorite things I, I, about this game is as you scale the difficulty up, your points will go up. So yeah. it isn't a game where you can say, oh, what did you score? Oh, I scored 125. Oh, but what difficulty level was you playing on? Because if we'd have upped the difficulty level to four, there would have been more enemies, which were worth more fame. So it, it is a comparable score. As you up yeah. the difficulty level, your score will go up. Um, and it's just a really nice, really nice system. So, anyway, so yes, let's wrap things we'll up. We'll be back. As, we'll be back. As mentioned earlier on, uh, this video and most of the other content that I create and a lot of the content that Tom creates is only possible through the support of the Patreon campaign. So, if you like the content that either of us create or both of us create, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Even just a dollar a month might not seem much, but it does add up. Um, yeah. Especially for me, because my Patreon support's been dropping over the last few weeks. So I don't know why, but it's just it's just one of those things. Um, We'd like yeah, to see more five-hour Mage Night streams. That's why. People don't want to watch it. It's all you. thanks to Patreon, <laughs> genuinely. Um, but yes, patreon.com forward slash slicker drips for Tom. Patreon.com forward slash gaming rules for me. Thanks very much for watching. I will be back. Uh, what day is it today? Wednesday. I'll be Wednesday. back Friday. So this weekend is actually a, a virtual convention which I'm going to be attending, and I will be live streaming uh, a lot of the weekend. I have Dominant Species Marine on Friday night. I have, uh, what am I doing on Saturday? Terraforming Mars. I'm doing Terraforming Mars using the digital version on Saturday. Uh, and I've got three live streams on Sunday, including Aeon's End, a choose your own adventure style book, uh, and then something in the afternoon. Tom, what have you got planned for later this week? I've got Viscounts of the West Kingdom. Come in on Friday, 2 p.m. UK time. Have you played nice that solo early. before? I roughly like yeah. tomorrow is going to have to be practice. Yeah, <laughs> try and try and get some kind of coherent 
game, like Aura at Labora, it, work, it works out eventually. Yeah. Blind Panic good. drives live streams. It's very good. We played it two a, player as well. Yeah, I've done a solo playthrough of uh, Viscounts, um, if you wanted to check that out. But yeah, it's, it's very good. Really enjoyed that. Forward to so. that. And there'll be more things in coming weeks. Yes. Hopefully, there'll be some big bonanza week towards Ooh. the end of the month when it's the anniversary. Right. I'll see if I can get the time. Yeah, well, give, give me a shout if you want me involved in something, because my, my workload for the end of April has changed recently, so I oh, might nice. be around. But yes. It'll be the week of the 27th, I think. Yeah. I, I need to check that, because I just keep saying it, but I'm pretty sure the anniversary <laughs> is the 27th. It'll be that cool. time. Right. Shall we say goodnight, Thank you for people? watching, everybody. If you've been here all five hours, great. Yes. get ready for the 12-hour full conquest. Yeah, and we're going to do four-player as well. Four-player, full conquest. <laughs> All cooperative. Full. <laughs> yeah, coming to a cinema near you with comfy seats. Right, anyway, <laughs> we'll say goodnight. Thank you very much for joining. Take care. We'll see you soon. Thank you, everyone. Bye.